<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to First Touch. We've been doing a lot of conversations in preparation for Copenhagen. And guess what? We are almost there. Dazrin, roll this. T Bates here. And Raul, you're looking good today. Oh, thank you. Thank you, brother. Uh, you know, I, I, I had to pull up. <laughs> Last week, somebody else pulled up, and we did exactly what we predicted. <laughs> or I, I knew exactly what would happen. He would pull up in a Dewey, and, and what I say? I said a hoodie. I was wrong a little bit, but I knew he would pull up in a, in a Dewey, and we would look up. Spazzy, you looking good today, too, Daz. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Bates, you look great. You look, wait, 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 where you going? Wait, <laughs> wait, 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 come back. Come back. Come back, Bates. It's Bates. our time. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how long is he gonna be gone? <laughs> Hold on, I can't, oh I can't, God. I can't be caught here like this. <laughs> Chad, Dude, we dude, caught him like it. <laughs> Chad, look, last week Bates looked real suited up. We said we had to show up this time too, but we said we weren't gonna tell him. We weren't gonna tell him. We caught him <laughs> off guard. <laughs> oh my goodness, too. Look, my, I, I messed the topic the image on? too. Yeah, of course, of course. Uh, wait, hold on, I can't tell the difference. I know, right? Oh, wait, hold up. Yeah, actually, actually, I had more hair in that picture. I had more hair in that. Wait, you got the same exact, because you got the turtleneck on too and everything. Yeah, of course, of course. I'm not going to wear this in Copenhagen, so I got something new for Copenhagen. Oh. But I got to, you know, I'm keeping it on the low. Hold on, hold on. I got I, I to gotta know. I got to know. Is it, is it, is it priced? Is it? What's, what's, what's the price range? Like the I'm, not saying I'm not saying nothing. I'm not saying nothing. I'm not saying nothing. I'm not saying nothing. Okay, okay. You know, okay. Just, just, you know, you'll know when you see it. Okay, <laughs> you'll know when you see it. Chat, I hope you guys are doing great today. You guys look beautiful with all of your different name colors. Everybody saying, hey, uh, we'll be keeping eyes on you guys over the course of the day today, okay? So again, uh, keep it locked in. Your interaction is important, except for some of you. Some of you be a little weird, but everybody else, we'll make sure to include you guys in the conversation as things go on. So, hey, you okay. weirdos. <laughs> i'll give you guys a rundown of things that we're going to talk about today we have roster mania happening so we're going to talk a little bit about roster mania first uh first touch is doing major predictions so we are going to go through swiss and the bracket and talk about the entire thing we have a couple of special guests but we'll save that for when it's their time to come on i think one of them you kind of get a little hint if you've been looking at that bottom ticker um also we have uh, again uh, well i might as well just say it because he, he literally has two segments arsenal is going to be on the show today so we're gonna be we're gonna be chatting with him for a little bit, uh, as well as talking about teams that are under pressure, talking about teams that maybe even underrated, overrated. Uh, also looking at um, if how how we feel about things going into round one, as well as even a little bit of trivia at the end. Again, it's gonna be a, definitely a fun fun show. He's actually gonna be gone yeah, no, for I, a I, minute. I, I... That's why I started laughing. I was like, wait, he's actually just putting on the, the best suit possible. He's going <laughs> to pop up on the cam and start yapping immediately. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. You know what? <laughs> let's, let's, get it, let's get into roster mania here uh, while we let the yapper get dressed. So first things first, there's going to be moves role that are already underway. Or the moves that are already underway. We're, we'll talk about some of them that have been in Europe. I don't know if you guys have been keeping up with some of the rumors. And oh, wait, hold up. Hold up. <laughs> He's back. <laughs> Had to take off the doing and everything. The way flowing. Playing around me, man. Playing <laughs> <laughs> around me, bro. I start playing, bro. Y'all see these waves? Y'all see what be? Y'all see what kind of Look, He didn't take the doing off waves, Jack. He said, like, hold on. Let me take the doing off. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, is the most, but you look clean. You look clean. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't realize we were doing this today. I, you know, I didn't come from, didn't come from a meeting today. So, I mean, I just, uh, I, th I thought y'all were doing the usual, but I guess y'all switched it up on me. Yeah, yeah, you said, it up. Last week, last week, we were talking about uh, making it a regular thing. I was like, oh, hold on, let's, let's follow through with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen. We saw, we saw how you looked last week. I said, hold on, let's show up. Let's show up real quick. But, Bates, how you doing? How you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling pretty good. It's uh, going to be an exciting, exciting um, show today. We have some good guests, some good guests. We have a lot of things to talk about. I mean, we do have the major coming up very, very soon, next week. Next week over there in Copenhagen, some of the best teams in the world will be competing, which will be interesting. To see that uh, we got some people here today who can give some really credible and insightful and valuable opinions as to what teams are going to be playing well, what region will be playing well, 
et cetera, et cetera. So, I mean, it's, it feels good, man. It's getting closer and closer to Atlanta time. Atlanta time the best time for Rocket League. And I'm excited to have this show today. Cool. Yeah, exactly. So we're, we're all in mind. Uh, first things first, we're going to talk about the roster mania, how things have been looking there. Of course, there have been moves that have been happening off the offseason. And EU, a couple of teams have dropped out. I know Resolve made an announcement about dropping um, or rebuilding like their roster around a singular player. There's been things happening over in APAC as well. But uh, let's talk a little bit about things in North America. Can we roll the Dignitas clips? Because there was a rumor that there was things happening in with the Dignitas uh, specifically. I think players were trying out for Gyro. Uh, yeah, Dignitas are considering changes as they explore internal options as potential replacement for Gyro. So we see here th things for Gyro. I mean, thoughts on this particular move, uh, Raul, with the Dignitas change? Well, I think... Uh... There's a, a couple teams, a decent amount of teams that should be making moves. Uh, I would say Dignitas, they showed potential to be a top four team. I thought they were going to be a top four team heading into the split, but obviously they felt a little bit short. Now with the move in question, I would say there is no, like, you can't take Arsenal out. You can't take Evo out. So I think the only move that they could make is Gyro for an improvement. Arsenal's had a comeback season uh, for what I think. I think at the end of last season, he was extremely important for SSG throughout his entire career. But the end of last season, he has popped off. And the beginning of this season, he, he's proven that he's he's here to win. He's here to play with the best. There were some pro players that were calling him top five in the league when they were when they did make that long run in the first, uh, in the first qualifiers. And I uh, was agreeing with them. And yeah, I think Evo... Evo showed that he has a lot of potential, and I think this has to be the only move to make if they were to make a move. Do mm. you think they should have made a move, Bates? Have they made it yet? No. Just a rumor should... at this point. Uh, something wrong with my chain, man. Um, what I would say is no. I don't think any move, I don't think any move is necessary. I think it just comes down to practice and preparation. That's what I've been hearing from the grapevine. Um, not necessarily for the reason of the remove I'm talking about. You mean here from some coaches in the general, um, on North American discourse that's been occurring is that they had they stopped they stopped taking practice series. I mean, you saw what the team can do already. You already saw what the results were. They were dominating. Or I want to say dominating. They were playing really well in the off season. Mm -hmm. Had great great results. A whole bunch of seconds, a whole bunch of firsts, and then a whole bunch of high placements, I should say. And then coming into the first regional. Everybody they had people, including some of us on this panel right now, saying they would make the major with the roster they have. Yeah. And the first re first qualifier, they finished off up. And then after that, there was, a, there was a drop, there was a drop off. So I don't necessarily believe that a move is necessary. I think there the skill is clearly there. If you can do well in the offseason, you can do well in RLCS, get a top four. You got the talent. It's just about maximizing the talent. That must be. Uh, um, and I think I think that falls on the coach, the coach to figure that out, VP to figure that out. I think it falls on the players to be mature, and be communicative with each other, and then you can get the job done. There's no guarantee that whoever they do ultimately end up picking up. Cause I heard there was rumors from like Astro or something like that, based off the ship report or some on those type of lines. I mean, like that 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 doesn't necessarily guarantee. I, you said Astro? That, yeah. Oh nah. <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. Oh, nah. I, uh, um, that doesn't necessarily guarantee that. I mean, he wasn't the only name. I think it was like four names. I don't yeah, know where he pulled it up. It real was fast. Uh, Eris, Justin, Astral, and Stizzy. Eris, Justin, Astral, and Stizzy. Okay, yeah. So, and I don't, and I don't know. I, I don't, I don't know what the off season because they were they were supposed to run with Eris. I think prior to picking up Gyro, mm -hmm. but then they didn't. Yeah. Which automatically to me, why are you going back to him? He was already on the team, and you let him go. Oh, he was about to be on the team. I don't know. I don't, it's maybe a lot, a lot of roster moves. I, a lot of contractual things. Yeah. You already let him go or something like that. So why are we retrying him out? Ain't nothing gonna change. You let him go for a reason. You didn't pick him for a reason. It, ain't nothing changing in the last three months. <laughs> so so I don't know why we're doing that. Astro, I mean, that's a great play. That's a great player, but that's not gonna necessarily move the needle as to where people would presume that Dignitas will be ranked in an A. They a team that could make the major right now with Astro. They a team that could make the major again. They ain't gonna be better than G two, at least on paper. They ain't gonna be better than Genji. 
mm-hmm. at least on paper. You got the SSG squad that people still really believe in. I don't know if they're gonna make a move. Um, you got think... you got you got M80, etc. I mean, like Dignitas is still gonna be up there contending for majors with Gyro, with Astro, with whoever. Mm-hmm. So I don't really think the move is necessary. I think Justin's really interesting for that team. I I can't lie. He's the only I think, one. Yeah, he's the only one that's actually interesting on that team. It's because like he's he's proven like Shopify. Rebellion, they they might have not performed too well, but I think that is just a combination of the the cohesion that they had as a roster that that, that they weren't gonna work like two piece parts. They need a different piece other than Justin, but Justin was still playing exceptionally well. I think Justin on that roster could do some damage. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. If they tried out Justin in the off season. I don't. I I, 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 don't, I don't know that. Do y'all know that? I don't think so. I don't know. Okay, yeah, but I, don't I, know I can't confirm for sure. I don't know for sure. Okay, yeah, I don't know if they try to Justin on the offseason. I don't know if Justin was interested. Justin on that team, that might be the only person. That is the only person I see out of those names. That I mean, like, ooh, okay, we got a roster here now. They might be able to do about, might be able to be legit top three, top four. I don't even think, I, I think we talked about it last week. I don't even think Justin should be in the conversation for even being moved in the first place. In the Shopify team, that makes no yep. sense to me. That's a terrible. That's a terrible decision. I don't know who's calling. I don't know who's calling the shots. <laughs> but <laughs> but it, it wouldn't. It wouldn't be me. <laughs> um, hmm. I, it I, seems clear that 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 duo of two piece and part got the got the control. They they got the lock over there. It, it appears to be the case. What you thinking, Dazrin? So, Gyro, Gyro in the off season was someone who. A lot of teams were looking at. Uh, I know Gyro had a definitely a good amount of tryouts. And it came to even the point of a situation where Dignitas was fighting with another team for Gyro. But Gyro chose to go with Dignitas. I think they, you know, better team chemistry there, stronger potential to win. And the results spoke for themselves in the offseason. Go into the first event. And I do think that for Dignitas, it just really was a a stroke of bad luck considering that first regional event they did well like you guys said top four they looked strong they looked kind of where people most people were placing them second event there was something that happened within the team environment or something that's like the rumor that goes around and then that ended up causing uh the team to just not play as they could at their best then you go to the third event and then the third event was victim to the boot camp situation where okay now like <clears throat> and there were talks of dignitas wanting to do boot camps earlier which i think they should have done mm-hmm. but it's just the fact that they did it at the last event that level of pressure combined with everybody else just fighting for that major spot and unfortunately they couldn't make it into the top eight for me <clears throat> it doesn't feel like that's enough to warrant a roster change unless you actually have someone who definitively no question is an improvement to the roster but I don't know if that is really like if that option is on the table. That would have to take someone from a team that is definitively better than you to have a player that both works with the two players and also has a skill that's better than Gyro. So I think at this moment, I'm not going to say that they should be making that move right now. But, but you know, it's a rumor at this point. We'll end up seeing how it develops. What do you think? Bro? I want to I want to pose one question to both of y'all. I just think okay. You make a roster move, but what is the purpose? Is the purpose to be a better team overall or the potential of actually going to a major and competing at the top level? Like, do we actually consider this old Dignitas roster that we've seen with Gyro a a team that can can win a major? I don't think anybody is going to have them as a high probability to go into a major and actually win. So I think making a move to compete at the highest level of Rocket League competition is warranted for any team that deems it's necessary at this point. No, only so many teams can win a major, though. You think, it, and that's the question, do you think that picking up Astral is a team that can win the major? I, I said nah with, when, when Astral's name was even brought Harris. in the conversation. Nope. Harris, nah. Stizzy. We've seen what Stizzy is doing right now. I think Stizzy has potential, but he's uh the one to make. Nah, he's not playing. Nah, nah, not right okay. now. Justin. Yeah, I think Justin's potential. To win I the think major. Justin's potential. No, to win a major. To win a major. I say I don't think they have any 
that not many no, options not no right question. now. No. So you saying like, no options, uh, no options right now. But so, yeah. And so that uh, yeah. So from if I'm but I think it would they would play better with Justin. I think I, I think I they see have him a playing better than Justin. With Justin. I can see him playing better with Justin. I can see that. I don't I don't know I don't know. I think this is the ramification of the format only having two splits rather rather than three. Um, organizations they, I don't, I don't know how organizations work. I don't run I don't run them. <laughs> I, I, I hear from org owners. I've seen the players. I understand the general concept of it, but I don't understand necessarily how they go about their business, their thought process, their decision making, and how they strategize to create that reality to happen. I, I'm not I'm not too certain. I don't know why. I don't know why. Is the goal just to make the major? If they increase your odds, I think Justin could increase your odds to make the major. Um, is that is that is that it? Because now as your player, you got to think about it. Gyro just joined the team. And that's, that's and that's what and that's the bigger conversation that we could talk about maybe another day. The big conversation is the the, the line of being a pro. What is it? I would just join the team in what December. Mm-hmm. We in March. That's three. That's three months of work. I'm out. I'm my job on the line. Like what's going on here? That's not sustainable. That's not. <laughs> that's, not that's not sustainable game, the game for anybody. Moves quick, base. Right, the game shouldn't move that quick. At least give me about six months, seven months. Like, like, if to make it to try to push and make a career out of this, is difficult right now. It's it's re- it's real it's really difficult right now. Um, the organizations they want the results, and the next, I think more and more teams are ha- gonna be less interested in building a roster, trying to see if they figure they figure it out, and more and more this didn't work out. This split, what is the immediate thing we can do? And the really only thing that a lot of people see in terms of the immediate thing they can do is we can replace somebody. Now, I don't think Dignitas is the only team that's thinking like that. I'm assuming SSG's thinking like that, too. That's my assumption. Now, I know some mm-hmm. EU teams are thinking like that. Um, yeah. You know, results-based business, but the results are really, yeah, really even more um, important than before. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, I feel, I feel like that's, that's, that's kind of... Definitely something to consider too. Do you? I mean, how do you feel about the rebellion one though? With rebellion also making the change, uh, or the rumor with Justin, uh, needing to be replaced, and rebellion targeting Andy from Pirates on a Boat. We can roll uh, the rebellion clips here. Raul, like, what are, what are your thoughts on the rebellion uh, situation? Although I do have a lot of respect for Andy, I think Andy's a player that. He's just starting to get his name mentioned a decent amount because every single roster he's been on seems to be a success story or at least a dark horse story for North America where if Andy's on the roster, they're going to take some games off you. If Andy's on the roster, he might make the major and, and you're not expecting it just like he did on Dignitas last season. But I don't think this roster, I didn't have this roster even being top four that it was pro- they, they were projected to be with Justin. I don't see it really happening with Andy as well, but I do think that they're going to be another dark horse team in North America to take some games off of some of the top teams in the region. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm pretty much in the same same frame of mind here. I think that like Andy's a great player and I think, you know, I feel like that the I don't know what exactly the team is trying to accomplish within like their play style because you have someone who is like a very i think like really good on the ball with two piece parf really good like just field awareness and then you had justin but it felt like they didn't know there's a like miscommunication that happened time and time again for rebellion mm-hmm. and now again exploring the change here where they also was an- were another team that had a great start but then falling into trouble time after time again it, it, it that that's when that one does seem very tough um Bates thoughts on rebellion I mean good I mean good move if they wanted to build a roster um they want the results like we we just talked about it's not gonna happen thanks <laughs> I didn't I didn't see Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. That those those two are the I think the only ones that I know for sure that were like confirmed rumors. But there have been some changes that have been kind of going on in the EU. 
but yeah, I think this is like something that we just have to like revisit, especially like when the trade window kind of goes around too, because you want to see like what teams that are going to do at the major, how they perform and how that might even have an effect here on the trade window. But speaking of the major, let's talk about the major. Let's go into first touch major predictions where myself, Raul and T-Bates are going to predict the major. Now we got it. We're going off a majority rule here. We're going to go Swiss in the bracket, top to bottom, I think. And let's let's throw Ooh. let's throw this up. Is there a way we can skip this one and then come back to it? Cause don't T Shot gotta go at like three? Yeah, he does have to go for screen. All right, yeah, we can do that. We can do that. This this will take some time. This takes some time. I think we can do hey, that. Hey, can we come back to this? Ben. Yeah, we'll come. We'll, we'll yeah, we'll 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 do this after. Chad, you got debated. You did. We'll do this after. <laughs> We're gonna add T Shot, cause T Shot gotta go at three. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, so. We'll come back to the predictions later on in the show. We have more time. Chris is saying L. Chris, stop. <laughs> let's, since we do have Arsenal coming on the show, let's bring in Arsenal. Arsenal, welcome to First Touch. We know you get me under a time limit here. So is the show, so we got to get you in right now. How you doing? I'm good. How y'all doing, man? Unmuted Discord. I can't hear you. Oh! <laughs> Yo, can you hear me now? Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, y'all saying, how y'all doing, man? Good, good, good. How are you? How are you? Good, man. I'm good. I'm doing real well. That's good, man. I see you got. I see you got. You got rid of your. I don't even know what to call that. The ponytail. Uh, uh, I mean, I just had it. I had my hair up so I could like see, but now I just like, I kind of part of the Red Sea, so now I'm chilling. Oh. Okay, now you're saying. Okay, okay, okay. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. Look mm -hmm. good. How's, how 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 is it still living with uh this this man this man above you? Uh, I mean I mean it, 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 it's good, bro. Like you know he's a cool guy. He's a cool dude. That's all I have to say. I gotta say something. We can hear your free play. Okay. Wait, really? Get yeah. out of free play. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're fact, okay, okay, okay. Fact, okay I just want to ask for forty minutes of you not being in free play. Oh, no, okay. Look, look, see, look, see, look. Can I get I that? The, can I looked I get at that? the bottom. I looked at the bottom. I said, okay. We got the little roster drawn into this thing, and then and then, you know I keep up a rent game. You know I abandoned. We're good. Let's get into it. Okay. Oh. Okay. 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 We got his undivided attention for forty minutes. Listen, this is special. I mean, this <laughs> mm -hmm. is special. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh man, how, uh, how how are you feeling, man? Talk to me about like uh, the season and how things have been like affecting you so far. Uh, I mean, I feel good. Like it, even though I didn't make the major and everything, uh, it happens. I've missed the major before. It doesn't really like affect me as much as it would knowing how close I was to making it uh, if I would have did better and uh, the second or third regional could have been there but I'm not so I just have to keep grinding doing what I got to do and uh, I'll just make the next one let's go <laughs> let's go Woo. Woo, let's go valid 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 uh I mean of course you know you just got back from coming home. I mean, you were you were at home for your birthday. Happy belated birthday, of course. Uh, Chad, Thank if you didn't wish him happy birthday, wish him happy birthday in the chat. Uh, what what is it like going from you know that that mode where you're like locked in and focusing on like competing, but then you know you come back home, be able to disconnect, see family and stuff. Honestly, probably one of the best feelings. Um, even while I was home, I was trying to play rock league here and there, but. Um, for me, it's a big difference in talking to family and chatting with them over the phone and actually being there in person with them and able to go out to eat and just hang out and just, I guess, t just catch up, stuff like that. Just uh, have a good time with them. And that that was kind of a very huge relief for me. Like, I haven't seen my family in a while. So seeing them, especially on my birthday, was the best feeling. Yeah, now, like, now, you, now you're back home and... Now you can sit with us, talk about some, some Rocket League stuff. So but don't worry. We've got you here for a little bit, and we're going to make use of your time. Hold on, but... hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ooh. I forgot what I was going to ask. Never mind. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Bates. All right. No more surprises. Actually, wait, I got one more. We're going to also add our surprise guest here into the show. We've got somebody that's been waiting. He's never been on First Touch, I think, ever. I think he has. Yes? He's been on the game show. Oh, yeah, the game show. Yeah, that's true. He was on the game show. But this is the first time he gets to sit here and talk with us. Wavy P, also known as Wave Punk, is going to sit here and join us. Oh, my goodness, Wave. Oh. Gentlemen, it's season four. And this is the first time you invited me to be on the main show here. I'm just saying. I, these, these boys took a long time, Chad. They took is a long time. Is it really the first time? time? 
That's crazy. Well, the, we did. That, we did. The, I get to like sit on the end of the desk at the end of land when we do the first touch post show. When guys, yeah. you basically walk into my house and use my desk to do your show. But other than that, <laughs> oh, this, is the first time, this is the first time y'all invited right. me into your house. So I'm, it, I'm just happy to be here. I'm happy to be here, guys. Also, T Shark, I literally wore the exact same hoodie you did, and then had to change last second when you turned your camera on. I'm like, I'm not gonna I'm walk in here wearing the same thing. I was trying to support. <laughs> well, we could have been twins, right? Been we cute. could have been. You know but I mean? people are tuning in like, what does this mean? Is Wave Point on the team now? <laughs> <laughs> all right well wave welcome to our house okay we, we do here, things man. differently from your house it's not as, as structured over there okay but you know we're, we're gonna get your opinion on things this time you don't have to worry about driving a conversation i need you to ask that's right conversation, okay? that's oh. right and tomorrow i think we need to address uh. the guest part i don't really look at chat but i'm assuming somebody's gonna be like they said guest who's the other guest we're supposed to have um mr robert aka beast dad on He's, he's taking yeah. his, he's on, he's in, he's in route. They're, they're, they're flying. G2, G, G2 is making moves to the boot camp right now. So he couldn't, he couldn't, he couldn't make it. We're going to have some parent representation on, on, over here on the, on first touch this time. But now we got Wave, we got T Shock. We're about to have some fun because this next topic, especially, I want to know what T Shock's got to say. I just got to right. make it clear that chat, they, I, I was still like their second choice. As I wasn't even like the first choice on the show, I was the fill in for the parents. So. What? what? No, you no, weren't. Everybody you was gonna be you on. You literally just said that. You literally just said that. No, it no. says surprise you, guest. It uh, says guest with an S, not T. It had an S. You guys were supposed oh, to come on at the see, same I time. Look at him. Right? Wow, listen, he, he got, he's a little feisty. My ego, my ego, my ego is like sitting there, man. <laughs> my ego's just sitting there, like on a flimsy piece of paper, about to fall apart, man. Listen, you get this guy hosted a year. I'm surprised not in the background. All of a sudden, his ego is inflated. It's unbelievable. <laughs> All right, man. Let's get into this, man. T Shock talks. Arsenal, why do you believe EU is so much better? <laughs> well, to start, the <laughs> gameplay is a lot faster and they give less space. NA is some buns compared to them. I'm sorry. We got two <laughs> teams that's competing with them right now. Two teams, the rest of the region. We're going to get cooked. We would get cooked. <laughs> but EU, their whole, their whole thing, like, they're all, like, competitive, you know? Like, I feel like even their bottom half would cook our bottom half. But it's fine because, you know, and they went through this, too. EU was, they were, um, they were better, you know? They had BDS, whatever, you know? And we came back. We came back, and now we're cooked. But it's fine because NA on top. North America. Yo. Disingenuous. <laughs> Um, I mean, I don't know. I, 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 like EU, like the way they play, bro. Like if you get a touch, mm -hmm. you're not going to have much time to get another touch. And they is like, you get a touch, you can get another touch and another touch and another touch. You know, like they, EU kind of forces for each other. They play together. They play closer. They're like, they're like this, like, you know, EU, he was like this and they play so far away. They're like this. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of hard for them to, you know, make plays and like do certain things. For 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 our audio listener, uh, audio listeners, um, uh, T Shock, when he said he used like this, he had his hands really close, and when the NA, uh, he had his hands very far, basically the wingspan of his body. So we're apparently, NA <laughs> 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 doesn't play anywhere near close to each other. That that's what he was saying. Mm -hmm. That's true. Uh, what about Mina though? Mina, you think that you um, think that new Mina you think that new Mina team's got a, got a chance against EU? Yeah, yeah, I better like, chance at NA. Uh, I I wouldn't because they're only sending what two teams, right? Mina's only sending two teams. They got right. Falcons and, in row one. Yeah, I mean, I think, I honestly, I think NA might have a better chance just because I rate Genji higher than row one, but I do think G two has like like G two and Falcons are like. They're like here, like they're 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 like right next to each other. Gen G, I got a little higher than row one. And then those extra NA teams are just like, you know, they're just like filler teams. But like they could potentially do more work. But I don't know. I think I think Mina overall, um, playstyle wise, uh deals better with EU than NA. Mm, Wait, so okay. you don't expect OG to do too much damage? I think OG plays more of a team like base. 
I don't know. They play closer together because they have to. They don't. They don't really got the mechanical prowess that the other two teams have, or the other. Yeah, I would say the other top two teams have. They have to play a lot closer together. You don't think OG has more of a chance? You think they're still like a filler team? Uh, I mean, OG. Although they do play close and it, they have a lot of team play, like you said, they don't utilize their mechanics in like the right way to be as dangerous. So you're, there's not going to be someone that's going to take the ball, kind of outplay and like make these dangerous plays. And then you play off of that. They're, they're kind of just like, oh, play together like each time, like pass to each other and do all these small little things. But EU was like used to that. So they're going to like cut it off. And I think it's going to be a lot harder, especially on land for OG to, to do what they want. Like if, if EU can play close together and play as a team and everything while also having that, that dangerous solo play um, plays that they're doing and everything, it's going to make it a lot harder um, for OG to like score. That's my opinion. Mm -hmm. And what about Sam? What about that Fury squad and complexity? Uh, Fury, like Fury, I haven't watched too much um, mm -hmm. gameplay on. I know I, I, I like complexity because I, I think Raze Bull and CRR always perform well on land. I think their play styles are really well suited for land. And uh, I mean, Dorito, if I haven't like watched too much of them either, but he should be able to compliment them uh, pretty well. But Furia, like they're like a wild card because I think Yan solo playability on land, especially like he's dangerous. He's a dangerous man. Mm -hmm. And the other two, I think they'll fill in pretty well. Drufinio was popping. Last time I seen him at Worlds, he was going crazy. So I think Fear is going to do like even a lot better than I expect, to be honest. I think Fury will, like their play style will be pretty well suited for land, I would say. I say, I see. But at the end of the day, it's just going to be all, e all EU final. It's going to be Carmine, Carmine, versus, Carmine versus Vitality or BDS. Mm, I mean, honestly, I think G2 could get to the finals. I think they're going to have a slow start. And the more comfortable they get, because mechanics wise, bro, like G2, like when they're pre jumping and doing all this, like Atomic's pre jumping from his, his half to your, when they're doing that and they're that confident and they're winning these challenges and getting these, like their mechanical plays are on, G2 can compete easily and make the grand finals. It's about how much time it'll take them to ramp up to that level. Like they might get eliminated before they get to that level. That's, mm. that's just my opinion. So it's based off potential pretty much. Yeah. Uh, I mean, no. wait, wait, VP, you agree? I yeah, wait, I do. Honest. Yeah, I do. It's it's like you got. I feel like the air game. You you talk. T talk mentioned the speed at the beginning that they play at in Europe, and I do think that is a massive factor into how much better. Like how the, the other teams, like your Rocket League's a flow chart game, right? You're like you, you kickoff happens, ball goes here. I'm here. I got boost. I can do this. I can do that. I can do this. And if I do this, I, this happens. Then this happens, right? And you got to make. You don't got time to think about it though. You got to make those decisions. You got to have mm -hmm. been in those situations to be able to know what's the right decision in that split second. You're going to make three, four decisions a second sometimes, right? And the speed at which you're at plays just crunches your time, your ability to make those decisions. That, that that's true in any region with any team, right? The, if a team plays faster, people are playing against don't have much time to make a decision. But that that's part of it. And then the other part is how well developed their like decision tree flowchart is in the air. Like the air game feels so much more well developed in Europe. They get airborne quickly. They are under pressure quickly and then they they have seat time at altitude against each other i think i agree with the teacher said that like g2 can do what the europeans do but no other north american team is having is doing what the europeans do to g2 so while they have experience doing what the other europeans do they don't have experience defending the europeans and you gotta just you literally can't replace the experience you can't replace the seat time there which means you go up against the european team in the bracket you got three games to figure out how to play against them in the air and then you got to win out. And hopefully you win one of those three or else you're trying to reverse sweep a European team in a bracket. So I don't know. I'm, I'm worried. I'm scared. Mm. Ooh, worried and scared. I, I agree. I agree. <laughs> I agree. I just want to know. Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick T-Shock's brain a little more here, though. Because, uh -huh. see, people don't know that T-Shock went on. T-Shock, I hopped on T-Shock's stream one time. And... We were talking about this because fresh after fresh after that tweet, and he went into the replay and said, "There's not all that space and everything else, everything else." So take out G two because ah, okay. cause now because now I don't want us to get caught up in the G two thing because I can already see the narrative. 
Mm -hmm. so if we say EU is all France, if G2 does well, they're going to say NA is all, all G2. So I'm taking G2 out the way. I'm, 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 I'm taking, yeah. G2, taking G2 mm -hmm. out the way. Give me, uh, talk about a Genji. Talk about an OG. Talk about okay. a Luminosity. Um, I mean, looking at Gen G, I I like the way that they play. I think especially the third regional, they start adapting more to even how G2 plays. But even compared to EU, there's like levels to it. Like the the split seconds that it takes to challenge, you don't get that in EU. Like they'll cut it off instantly, even if it means like someone just got a full boost instead of waiting to where they're going to be comfortable and try to make a play, they're instantly on you because they don't want you to make that play. And that's like the difference between um, NA and EU. And Gen G, they haven't had to deal with, like even G2, it's, I don't think it's the same as EU. I, I don't think it's the same. Like there is potential and they could, they're, they're doing it sometimes. But if you, if, if you watch like a BDS, how they control the midfield and how someone's always cutting it off, like they'll lock you in every time. They're challenging the ball for each other every single time. Someone challenging every single time. And they, they'll give you space if it means them being comfortable. Like, they, they'll back off and, like, let you make a play. And it's just, like, the challenge game, I think it'll be too much, even for a team like potentially Gen.G. I think if they're losing, if Gen.G's losing those 50s, they're cooked, in my opinion. <laughs> I, think, I think I think when, when like, especially against um, a lot of NA teams, Gen.G can just win a lot of, uh, 50s and outplay because the North American teams are also trying to outplay Gen G. So Gen G just dunks them and then now they have all this pressure. But EU teams, they'll let you come to them and they'll 50 and then their team will follow up and then now you don't have pressure or they're just winning 50s. They'll play into the 50s. And OG and LG, LG, I think they're going to be too nervous in my opinion. Um, they also rely heavily on demos and demos don't matter as much when a team's rotating that fast and they're also playing the 50s for each other. Like, if you're demoing one and they're playing a safe 50, that demo doesn't really matter. Like, it's just going to go to your team or whatever. And then OG, I, I don't think they'll have the mechanics to outplay, like, one or two every time. I, I, I think EU is just going to pre-jump. You're going to try to outplay. You get hard dunked. You're cooked. Mm, I think that's, 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 that's I got a question. I mean. Do you think... Rocket League gameplay translates well from online to land. Uh, in my personal experience, I've always thought that mechanics kind of take a take a hit. Like the 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 time it makes or it takes to make certain mechanics are normally like slowed down, and the teams that have better challenging and they they work together more and they cut it off more like a bds against a g2 at worlds for example in my opinion that g2 team with atomic chicago and jnaps they were mechanic they were outskilling that uh bds team the mark extra and monkey Moo team mechanically but they were nervous so their mechanics were on they aren't winning 50s they aren't getting the perfect touches that you get online and bds is just playing confident and pre-jumping and just they're winning the challenge game the monkey moon teams they always have good midfield challenging and once that pressure especially starts um, building up, then you get nervous. And then what happens? Your mechanics get worse. Mm. So it's like on land, it's more prevalent that those, those challenges that you're losing, you're scared to make plays. You're scared. You're losing these challenges. You're getting more nervous and your mechanics are on. And if you rely on mechanics, then you just lose. The teams that rely on good challenging and good decision making and everything. It, like Even if you're nervous, it's easier to make a good decision than it is to okay, I'm used to my Timmy winning this 50 every time or winning this challenge every time. And then they don't. And now your whole game plan is like, it's kind of thrown off. That's interesting because... <clears throat> oh yeah, reason, it was Seiko. It was Seiko. The reason I, the reason I asked that is because, um, you know, we're talking about how teams are playing right now. Everybody's judging how everybody's looking online. But that doesn't really... I feel like it doesn't really work that way when you get into the lane environment. I think the games play very differently. I think uh, a lot of players I've talked to have talked about how you know people just focus on like hitting the ball hard or and like playing fast versus like that play style that they normally have in the online or that works for them so i'm expecting to see things differently in terms of how teams are looking but the ones that have the fundamentals down like og i'm i'm, I'm i hold putting lg in the conversation but like og who's been on lands and they have their play style down. I feel like they have a chance to excel a lot more than people are thinking just based mm -hmm. off of how they've looked in their online performance. Yeah, I agree. I think 
consistency wise and everything, I I think OG has the ability to do a lot more damage. But when it comes to peaking, like it, for me, I look at like especially that Vitality team. Like when they were peaking and they were at their best, no team was touching them. When Zen is scoring those insane goals and they're making those pre jump plays and everything, a lot of these teams just can't touch them. But for OG, I don't know if they'll get to that level where it's like if an AU team is playing that well, they can take them down. I think consistency wise, they can take down these certain teams just based off their play style. But like peak wise, I, I don't think they have like the mm. ability to like win the land, I would say. Hmm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So, yeah, I see. I'll ask everybody this. I'm gonna ask Wave this too. I'm gonna ask Wave this too. Just for both, okay. just for both of y'all. So, what's it gonna take for e for people to say that EU is just greater than the world? Do they, do they have do they have to lose? Do, do they, they, they have to say that though? Huh? They already say EU is greater than. Uh, I know. So, what's it gonna take for it's like at Copenhagen? Can that narrative change? Or even if they um, lose in Copenhagen, it's still what's it gonna, gonna take to EU change the world. narrative? Yeah, mm -hmm. what's it gonna take to change that narrative? It has to only be one team in top four that's EU. And that's not you, but I wasn't oh, asking. My bad. My bad, my bad. I would say, I, for me, like two teams top four, not EU, feels like, okay, the rest of the world's here. Like, Europe, if Europe's got two of the top four, that's fine. Like, one region can have two teams in the top four. Uh, that, that's, that's my five. We get, we get two. We get like a, like a, like get a G2 EU and a Falcons though. or something. How many you get all EU grand final, though? Oh, yeah, I don't know. That makes it worse. That only makes it worse. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So what you um, think of T Shock? I mean, if you get an all EU grand finals, it's uh EU still on top. Like if you have if you have the two teams from Europe making the grand finals again, it's like come on. Like it, like NA. What happens you if you don't? Say. What happens if both if EU teams you have no EU teams in the grand finals for the first time ever? Oh, that'd be and crazy. I, say it's like a say it's like a what, like a G two Falcons or Fury or like yeah. something like that, then I'm, I'll be like, all right, and they, you know, I'll say, hey, we came back. Yeah, I'll yeah. Like, Let's go. Like, <laughs> we ain't you know, good. We have, you have arguments, but then also you kind of have to look under that, right? Because say, mm -hmm. like Bates said, say we got a G2 grand finals against a Fury or Falcons. And then below that, it's like, it's like LG, Gen G, um, LG, Gen G, OG. They didn't even like, we have one in the top eight or like one other one. Mm. Then it's like, Nah, 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 I'm Mr. International. You're anybody but Europe. I'm Mr. International now. Listen, I'm running for all the boys, but I think a Fury can make some noise. I think I, I think a Blaze can make some noise. I think Falcons can make some noise. I think Rule One can make some noise. I think Power can make some noise too. Some upstairs and Power. Well, and then I, and, and Power. Then, and and then uh. No, he's deaf. <laughs> no boy, you gonna see, you gonna see, you gonna see. That's why I'm Mr. International. Cause you ain't gotta believe in him, but I gotta believe in him. And if that's the case, and I think that there's a chance, I think there's a chance. Honestly, and see what I'm hearing. I just want to let Ooh. everybody know that this is probably the greatest chance ever at any land that EU is not represented in that grand final. That's all I'm saying. That's all we're gonna say this next major. Greatest <laughs> chance <laughs> ever? Uh, ever is cap. Greatest Bruh. chance ever. We've had so many previous lands what? where uh, what I, are you talking I about? Agree. I, agree. I, I, know, I know you agree. I know you agree. You know, Bob. I what know was, you agree. I know you're talking about seven. it. What do you how you just do you gotta agree? think about it? I think this is the best NA team um we've ever had, like being exactly. sent to a land. And then you got like, Sam. Fury's like, got the best Sam team of all time. Yeah. And not even like just like a a dominating NA type of thing that I, I truly believe G2 could compete with EU. Like, e, like I, I think they, they could do it. And even Falcons, I think, I think Falcons, Falcons are, are, are really, really nice. Good. Furia, really good. Furia, Sam, this is probably the best Sam. Like all okay. the other regions, this is like all the super teams yep. from 
Yep. Top top four season seven though. Rogue G two Cloud Nine Vitality. Okay, no, I okay, feel okay, like okay. that was a really good shot. No, 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 no Going into the lane. Yeah, we, no, we had we had NRG as well. We had NRG Cloud Nine G two, and let's see who was who was there from Europe. They had some good teams in Europe. Triple Trouble, PSG, Triple, FC yeah, Barcelona, Vitality. Vitality. Everybody expect won. Vitality to be in there. It was, it was yeah, well, and Vitality won. So yeah, yeah, yeah. everybody expect Vitality to be in that grand final though. I, I said everybody did. No, I'm saying, I, yeah, I don't know. I, best shot ever is maybe is debatable. It's debatable, but you you make a good case. You make a good case. Well, the reason I say that I talk about for about women. The reason, the reason, the reason I say that is quite what T Shock's saying. I do believe that Sam and Mina are sending their best ever. I think that NA's got his greatest team skill wise of all time. Um, I think that Genji's also a really good team too. Um, mm -hmm. even though I do agree with T Shock that the fifty fifties don't work for him, they might be dead. But, <laughs> but other than other than that, we're gonna see. I think they can figure it out. Um, and even though Carmine is really good, and they should be the favorite, they should be the favorite. My and uh, you kind of went with the tier list. I just think there's a lot of teams that are like that. S or high A level, more so than normal. More so than normal. I think there's high S. I think there's S tier and high A tier teams that can all beat each other. I okay, think well, usually uh, it's the case that there's like two S teams, and then you got like some A tier teams, and you get like some low A, high B teams. But they got a lot of S and a lot of A high A tier teams in my estimation that can take games off each other. That's I just want to flip this around and flip this around real quick though. Like, what is I feel like I've never seen a team like Carmine Core. Like, is what is the weakness that you see from Tar Carmine Core? Like, how a, a how they... defense? That's the only weakness. <laughs> true. True. I mean, true. Only weakness. T Shock, what you see? What you see, T Shock? I mean, I mean, I think like yeah, they went three for three, but I think y'all forget how they went three for three. Like, they literally had the reverse sweep. First sweep BDS. That's a best of seven, and then then they go to what was it? A game six or seven again? With, or with BDS? Like, and they just barely won. I think it was like, game seven. Not, it's not like they're just like stomping these teams. It's like to to reverse sweep in a best of seven. First of all, is insane against <laughs> yeah. BS. Like like that's yeah. insane. So they could have e easily lost one of those two regionals, and it would have been a whole different story. And I I think BDS has a lot better chance than than people think, especially playstyle wise. I and agree. Monkey Moon being Monkey Moon, mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying I do think that even BDS if they have to go against a Carmine Corp. I wouldn't be that surprised if BDS beats that team. I truly wouldn't. Maybe the nerves of Jolly, whatever, but I, I believe, like, even playstyle-wise, BDS is going to be fine. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't know, Wave. I mean, Carmine really good, man, but Vitality, like, like just think about two seasons. Relatively. I know I said one more minute, but I need one more minute now. Um, <laughs> Bro, I got two more minutes. Come on now. So, 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 you got to think about relative. Like, Vitality when they went three for three. That that to me felt more like a gap than Carmine right now with the rest of the East. I like I I do uh, I do yeah. believe BDS. Yeah. And I do believe even Vitality now have a have a chance at beating that Carmine squad. A much greater chance than I would say any of those teams last year had to be in Vitality. And then you think about the from the NA side for last year. Who from NA who from NA even went to the spring major? That was like they could win. I don't think it's any of them. I don't think it's any of them. I don't th huh? I don't no, never mind. I'm, I'm thinking winner. Think, yeah. Because I don't think I, yeah, I don't think it's anybody. And then the Worlds? I was thinking San Diego. Worlds, I didn't think anybody can win either. Even though I did believe in, believe in G2 making the top four, maybe. They, they just had like that, that magic, that magic, that magic sauce on them. Sam as well. Nobody from Sam. Because we had the two best Sam teams over here. They both moved over there. And they also just reloaded. Um, Mina, they just reloaded as well. So and now you got to where you have, in my estimation, I think you have three really great teams in EU. I think General Mates are good. They could also, on their day, beat any of those teams. And NA, I really do believe in G2. I believe in Gen G. I think OG is really good, too. I think Luminosity has got some potential, but I'm going to keep it retained to just uh, G2 and Gen G. Sam, you got two teams. I think Complexity is a land team. Yeah. And I think Fury is exceptional. And then you over there in Mina, you have Falcons. And real one's not the scrub, but Falcons. So I mean, you got like yeah. seven teams. So I think if the bracket shows up, and you like you go Carmine versus any of those teams, Carmine the favorite. But I can see Carmine losing any of those seven teams, and that goes for all seven teams. Yeah, and I usually can't yet. see that. Ooh. I <sighs> go ahead, Tishak. Oh, oh, now that you mentioned it, I think everyone forgets like how like the bracket, like someone can completely get cooked by the bracket, mm, like yep. like literally cooked. You could have like Carmine going against. 
like even BDS for like like a, a even in a top. No, nah, I don't like, want that. Never... We don't want that though. We don't want that. Yeah, though. You know mean, why? We might. You know, we might you know why we don't it. want that? Why not? Because you know, I can already, I can already hear the narrative now. EU, EU had to take out, out EU. EU. I want to hear only be I want him to go up against everybody. Yeah. <laughs> but like it's, it's it's definitely very possible like it a is, lot of it, it is. is like bracket look like there can be even imagine this is why it could suck because you might have like three of the four like eu on one side then it's like oh even if eu and then if eu make the grand finals we're cooked if you have three four eu on one side and they, they're taking each other out and casey still makes the finals we're cooked no like like eu is like eu still better and yeah i I don't know. It, this could be very bad, but nah, I think. I just, I think go ahead, wait, okay. go ahead, wait. You guys, you guys, you guys bring up like, oh, like oh, they had to go like game seven overtime to beat BDS. They had to reverse sweep BDS, and like you say it like it's a bad thing. And I'm sitting there like, I don't know. In my mind, what I see in Carmen Court is that OG moist roster ice that they just. It doesn't matter the situation. They can't lose. You put the pressure on and they get good. And then you look at the roster and it's two thirds of moist. Imagine 2021, 2022 moist with experience. That's Carmen core. That's okay. terrifying. Okay. Yeah, I see that. Okay. But I, I'll, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you this. Imagine they play Fury in that first round again. Yeah. Oh, I, mean, <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but yeah, and them I mean, boys low, reloaded. I got mean, Drew, got Drew and got lost with him. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. If they want to see him. I don't know. If they want to see him. It, That'd be oh, tough. Yeah. That'd be I tough. Mean, it's it's going to come ride. down to the wire. Like, even, it's going to be a good land, man. Yeah, I think I'm, it's going to be a great land, bro. I really do believe it's the best. It's the best land really we've good. ever had. International. That's why I miss international now. If Mr. International, mine is EU. <laughs> EU EU's got enough, enough supporters right now. Once EU loses supporters, maybe I'll come over there too. <laughs> <laughs> too many supporters. That's insane. All right, let's let's uh let's open uh open the the door here real quick. Talk a little bit more about teams under pressure. Who is under the most pressure in Copenhagen? Which region will preserve through the land jitters, as Relating Wave used to say? Uh, we've, we've got KC versus Vitality highlights. Arsenal, I'm going to you first. Who do you think's under the most pressure in Copenhagen? A lot uh, of teams. In my personal opinion, it has to be D2. Mm. Really? G2. Yeah. I said the same thing. Yeah. I mean, because like, even like K Corp and, and everything, like, they they've already won before. Yeah, they went three for three and everything, but it's like it's not like we, we haven't seen it done before. Like Vitaly did it, but this is like the best, like the easily the best team NA has ever set. And EU is like over NA, especially from a lot of people like by a lot. So if, if G2 comes out and they cook it and they potentially win the land, they could potentially do what BDS did for EU, which is like save the region type thing, even though base doesn't really want that. It's like, okay, now <laughs> NA isn't looked at as bad um, anymore. Like, NA has potential and everything. But if Carmine loses, it's like, I don't know. Then, like, it BDS to win, and it's just like, oh, E's going to like, I don't know. I feel like NA stakes are at an all-time high, especially the best team we've ever sent, like, talent-wise. I, I agree. I, I hear your points. I think I kind of more fall on the bait side of the argument here that, like, I feel like the rest of NA is under a little bit more pressure to prove that we're not just g2 if just g2 does well that doesn't mean anything especially for og and lg who are like the two teams out of the six that like managed to get the two spots they want to prove that they didn't just like win the lottery there they want to prove that like we actually are top four in america not just top two of the six that could be top four but the other one speaking of the teams on the screen here vitality currently the reigning world champs defending a two land win streak in RLCS. They don't have Farah this time. And yeah, you might be like, oh, they've got their land jitters out. They, they're, they're under, they're experienced now. They're not going to be nervous on land. I don't know. The story is completely shifted in NA. They have a target on their back and they're looking like they're on their back. Like, I don't, they, this has got to be really rough for them. I feel like Vitality's feeling a lot of pressure right now. That's what I said, man. We talked yeah, about it earlier. I mean, yeah, I mean, for That's me, it'll be either though. Casey or, or G2. Like, Casey, just because, like, it, it is about to be a potential perfect split. Um, so, like, if they do it, it's like, oh, my gosh, like, let's go. And then it, if, if G2 win, like, I already made that argument. But Vitality is kind of like, I mean, bro, they've, they've already been doing, like, not the best in each regional. So it's like, yeah. like, if, if, they, if they were, like, doing, like, really good or, like, at least, like, close to what they were doing like last split maybe like okay you know but i think how they've been performing it's not as much pressure i would say in terms of like how kc are doing or which which team well yeah it's like 
because if KC is winning, if they won every single regional, they went three for three, and like Vitality had that much pressure last split because they did the exact same thing. And if if Vitality hasn't been doing good this split, like yeah, they could put pressure on themselves, and like they did win like the last two lands or whatever. But compared to how they were playing, this isn't even like this isn't that close. So yeah, I think if KC win though, if they win the major it opens up the door for a conversation of whether or not they can outdo vitality i don't think people are really like thinking about that right now because again like that's mm -hmm. really far off but the yeah. fact that they are the best team in eu like it still kind of builds that narrative like could they do something that has actually never ever been done before from start of the season like how long can this like road of dominance be for them mm -hmm. so there, there's, there, I feel like they have their own pressure. I mean, I feel like a lot of these teams do have their own like pressure from their own perspectives. Yeah. I mean, you, everybody makes great case of points, but I feel, I feel like Rise and Vatira, like genuinely don't care about anything other than winning worlds. Which means, like, this is just another step to them. I don't think any of them are thinking about like, oh, we could have a perfect split. We could like equal vitality. Like that, they, they are. They're two of the most focused players I've ever. <laughs> found the most grounded players I've ever found like and and it's the one thing they haven't done yet i i feel like they almost don't care and that's that is another thing I that makes Vatira them terrifying I, I think Vatira cares a lot he just had he just had a kid come yeah, he just had yes. a kid come into the league and take his crown like immediately took his crown won a 3p and then won one a major and then one world i think Vatira and every single time Vatira went up against zen he, he seemed to be gone up until like the last couple of times they played each other. And now he's taking the throne back. He's like, all right, we're, we're back. This is my team, my spot, number one. Zen, you were supposed to be my little brother. So th I'm going to put you right back in your place and I'm going to get my number one team. And now he's okay, trying yeah. to repeat and do exactly what Zen did last season. Okay, I think but, he has a lot of pressure on him. But this isn't, this isn't, like Deku versus a villain where the villain, as he starts to realize he's losing the fight, gets nervous and then falls apart. This is Deku versus Bakugo. These are two rivals, Zen and Vatira, who when they fight against each other at their best, bring the best out of each other. I don't think Vatira losing to Zen made him worse. I think it made him stronger. I think this is going to be a fierce one and I I'm scared. No, I, I agree. I, 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 th I think ahead, it made ahead. him stronger. I think it definitely made him stronger, but I think he wants to out how perform what Zen did previously is what my point is. I, I think I think Zen beating him helps is gonna help him do that. I don't know. Wait, I gotta give you congratulations. That's the first anime reference we've ever had on First Touch. Uh, thank how? You for that. And because most of the There's references no are comparisons. way I've never uh, not uh, mentioned yeah. Naruto on this show. <laughs> I don't think you ever have. I don't, I've never mentioned Naruto Uzumaki Because you always miss in basketball. I know, yeah, I know, Aaron, I know that. But there's no <laughs> way I've never mentioned, not mentioned Naruto on here. Maybe not, like, what he did it as, like, an analogy, as, like, a comparison like that. Like, so I'll, I'll say that just specifically. But that was, that was good. That was good. Regardless, I um, I can see your point. I think, yeah, everyone is looking at the bigger picture of Worlds. But I don't think KC are just not going to, like, be like, oh yeah, we lost GG. I think they know that they're on a streak, and you know, the further they go, the further that like submits their like dominance. You know what I mean? Mm. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know, bro. If wait, if Matera wins this, isn't that isn't he the only person with three major ones? Is he? I don't know. Well, I think everyone everyone there. else has two, right? Yeah, with three major ones, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, he 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 wants yeah, it. Casey and Moist, yeah, he'll be a certain. Man, Vati just don't like to lose. We talked about this last week. Yeah, so. it's, 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 it's like it doesn't. I don't think he cares about any of that. He's just like he's like he hates losing so much that like <laughs> that just drives him to be a better player. I don't know. That man's great. The young man is fantastic. I talked about we talked about it last week. I want to hear y'all's thoughts on it. But I, I said I said Carmine, um, over everybody else. But is it pressure? Yeah, I said I said Casey. I don't really feel like rehash. I hear I hear you on like that they've got like they like they are the most talked about team. They are obviously the team everyone's looking at to lose. Rise is one of the least like emotionally movable players I've ever seen <laughs> in my experience. I'd be curious if Arsenal's got other like another perspective on this as like a player on the other side of things. But I have never in the history of RLCS seen a team lose the best match heartbreaker match of the tournament in 2021 they lost to furia 
and like 40 minutes later rises up at the desk just watching the games with us just having fun enjoying rocket league and, be, and we're, i'm like how you doing man he's like oh, i'm fine i was i was you know i was there for Vatira. It was, it was but you know like oh, i'm doing great i'm just happy that we were here right and then last season, I run into him in the elevator after he got swept in the grand finals. You play the whole season, and he finally makes it to those grand finals. This is the match you played for. You played the whole season to play this match, and they get dumpstered. They get whooped. They get swept in the grand finals. First time we've seen a sweep the grand finals since season four. And I run into him in the elevator and I say, how you doing, man? He's like, dude, I'm over the moon. I, we, you told me we were going to make top two at Worlds? I would have told you you were crazy before. Exactly. Man. There, it is. there it is. I'm like, what? There it is. Like, he ain't expect. He ain't think he was gonna be there. He did, but he did. But and what? And then he get, and then he gets there, and he gets a chance to hope, and he do, it doesn't even phase him. And he, he and this is going. the guy. This is the guy that made LAN with three different teams through the whole season. It like it just doesn't matter. He's an immovable uh, object. He's an unstoppable force. But you got two shot. I kind of agree with with Bates. I mean, even going in like um each each time he uh, made a grand finals and everything, even with Moist and whoever. It was kind of like unexpected. Like they do um, okay online, then they go in and then they start popping off on land and they make the grand finals. And now it's like he just went three for three, three for they three. They the best team. Like, they the best I'm, team. Like like I like I do believe Rise is a um very um he's he's emotionally like immovable, but this type of pressure like three for three, everyone's expecting you to win. Like it's. I think it's going to be a little different, but I, mm. I still think he's going to like they're going to play good and they could win and everything. But that's it's a good definitely point. More, that's mm. a good point. It's, it's a different context he's coming to this event with. But I, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, at, at world, at world, the first worlds they came in, they were the hottest team. They just won London. Everyone was like, oh, they're yeah, going to win they the lost, you know? Mm. Yeah, they lost, but they lost in literally the goal and the <laughs> match of the tournament, you know. So, and then again, and he was afterwards. He was like, yeah, I'm fine. He wasn't like Crestfall. That was his rookie though. season though, too. It's true. It's true. different now. Things I'm change. Event Things now. change. Year three. Year three, rejoin with his boy. He got he got the world on his shoulders. Like I'm also Can't with you. I think it. I think it's both. I think it's both. I think he is one of the most uh just confident and he just he just not it don't phase him. He just a gamer. He a grinder. I love it. It's gonna be great seeing him at, interact with that blue wall. Cause that'd be, yeah. that'd be fun. Cause he he's oh. real like get people hype type stuff. Remember yeah. last time, uh what was Top it? Time for T Shock to go. Okay, can I finish saying what I gotta say first? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So last time he was playing against the Blue Wall when they were on Moist, and they ended up winning that series, he turned around and he was talking to him. Remember that in Rotterdam? Mm -hmm. So now mm -hmm. he's got mm -hmm. him on the side. So yeah. I think it'd be I'd be different because then he didn't get that crowd going. They could really uh, use that for uh, their own uh, benefit. So I'm I'm excited to see how they do. Maybe I mean, well, yeah, we'll we'll see who's who's under that pressure, who, who breaks. But yeah, Arsenal, thank you for joining us, bro. We we gotta let you go, man. Uh, did you? <sighs> We appreciate you so much for coming on. Thank you for having me. Nice chatting with you, boys. A wee bit. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> <Too much. laughs> Arsenal. Always good to be having have Arsenal jump on the show. He's hilarious. And also gives us good taste as well. So, uh, but Wave, you're joining us here for the rest of the show. Okay. We've got a lot to talk about. Okay, good. So we talked about teams that are under the most pressure, but what Can teams are under? Them? Underrated. You want to do the bracket now? See, you're doing too much, Bates. I'm not doing too much, bro. <laughs> like, we you can just, just said get we're there. not structured. Like, you got Wade, you introduced Wave saying we're not as structured as all. So, yes, you know, we got a little more free flowing. And now you're right. trying to follow the And I have, I have a plan. What's your plan, man? <laughs> Why don't you follow the plan? Okay. I got my captain shirt on. I'm trying to steal the shit. You over here putting us in the dangerous waters. You know what? No I don't even care. Let's just do the bracket. Let's, let's just do the major <laughs> predictions. Wave, you're going to be joining us here. So you're going to do this whole Woo! prediction. I'm losing my mind. Ben, Why did you not want him to be a part of the major predictions? I, uh, I did want him to be a part of the major predictions, but I wanted us to get through. Hey, we're talking about teams that have pressure. Let's talk about underrated teams first. Let's kind of like finish that conversation, and then we could go into predicting. Hey, it might be more fresh like in about that. 30 minutes. Uh, you know what? Fine. Sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm good out the way. I'm good out the way, Captain. Listen, I'm aye aye. I. Ben, let's do, let's do the major predictions, please. Please. I said, we'll my a little weak. Let, me, let me work on that. There we go. I salute we'll, that better. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. All right, we're going top to bottom, gentlemen. First touch major predictions, Swiss stage. Chat, we're not going to give you the series score or anything like that. We should, we're going to go for who wins and who loses. It'll it'll populate, though, I think, based off of uh, results. So, well, we'll, well, it'll still populate as if we put in those, those series scores. K-Corp versus Limitless. 
Come on now. Three of. Come on now. Yeah, we can we can go next. <laughs> Come All on right. Now. Let's enter into K Corp Limitless Three O. What's the delay on this again? That's a good question. Uh, I think it, I think he said think... like ten seconds. What what, what yeah. a gray beard call that a baptism by fire? I think he, he he's maybe even underestimating. That's, that's gonna be a wake up call for Limitless. <laughs> okay, there. yeah. So I won't update until each round. So we let's just finish okay, the okay. round. Uh, BDS versus Elevate. Come on now. Yeah. Also three L. <laughs> All right, we're not hearing anything. We're just gonna take that one to go that as a three O as well. G two versus Casey Pioneers. Come on now. <laughs> Are we hitting the soundboard? Come on now. Right, yeah, this we'll, is the we'll, we'll do a 3 0. We'll do a 3 0 there. Vitality versus complexity. Uh, mm. Okay, okay. Yeah, this one's going to make you think a little bit. Uh, Bates over here hyping up complexity, thinking they could do some damage. What you got to say, Bates? I mean, they ain't got AJG though, man. So you who you rate, who you rate this, stronger this... for round one coming out of the gates? And th this matchup, I mean, oh, 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 man, these two teams? Yeah. I, mm, like, I, start mm, the tournament off in, you know, high torque. I've been thinking about Italian. 060. Be a little suspect in the beginning. He should be gearing up. And complexity keep getting close to beating them. So I think Rays Bull gets the revenge of Italian right here. I'm going Rays Bull. What? You got complexity winning? Yep. Yep. Loki, I agree with them. I'll go complexity. They keep losing to them in like the last game. Game five loss, game seven loss. They're going to beat them this time. Wave? I, I think, I, you know, I think it's a pretty close one here, and I think it's boring if we just take left side down the whole thing. Let's go complexity. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes, sir! What the heck is this? All right, what's, what's, the, what's the series score? What's the series score? 3-2. I think it goes game 5. 3-2. Okay, 3-2. 3-2 complexity. 3-2 complexity. complexity. Uh, Bro, remember this? Okay, also, wait, is AJG still on this team, right? This is the... Oh. Is he not? Okay, never mind then. I was going to say, this, this is the rematch. This is the, the Boston... This is the moment. Right, vitality versus complexity. Missing the overtime goal yep, would have yep, sent complexity. Would have sent vitality yep, to bottom. Yep. This, yeah, this is a rematch for them. See, that's what, I'm, and that's what I'm saying. That's why I wanted to see. I, I really didn't think that AJD team was nice, yep. but I'm gonna have faith in. I'm gonna have faith in Rays Bull. Gotta have faith CR, in Dorito, man. I'm gonna have faith, in, and I gotta believe in Dorito. Hit the ball on, on land if he can do that. <laughs> if, if, if he can do that, I think vitality's not playing at the same level they were last year. But it could be argued that complexity might not be playing the same level, or maybe Fury is just that good. That's that's the un, that's the unknown. That's the unknown factor. Mm. But I do think that complexity they got a chance against Vitality. I think they could beat them here, right here. Third time's the charm. Give me complexity in five. All right, cool. Gen G versus Power. All right, now listen, I got something special for this one too. Yeah, hold on, let me hear this. Because <laughs> Power, they've been boot camping for about already two weeks now. Uh huh. Okay. All right, I think I think a week or a week some change now. A week and a half. And they put in that work, best OCE team, according to CJ, that they've ever sent. Then they got some noise in the Gen G squad. Give me my five. Yeah, no. Nah, bro. No, are you drunk? Thing. We actually almost said the same exact thing. Are you serious, mates? No way, bro. No huh? way. No I way. Are you not drunk? ready? They're not ready for this, man. Gen I think power can win man, give me Gen G a four, man. <laughs> I think I think I think Power can win this, man. I'm just be honest. You get the game. You get the game. You, you, the game. you are predicting power to beat Gen G Mobile One Racing. Are you drunk? Yeah, they just beat your G two. Yeah, they had a good, they had a good, they had a good day. Congratulations, what a cookie for that. <laughs> that's, that's a pretty good day, man. That's a yeah, pretty good, good day. Sun was shining. It's a, it's, it's a great day. Great. It's a great I, day. But I you got to think about it. it though. You got to think about it though as well. I've been really? thinking about it. Yeah. Yeah. We, th we thought we thought about it a while ago. Well, apparently, you didn't think about it. Think about it enough. Let me, let me, I think you need to think more about it. <laughs> no, no, no. Let me let me add a little bit more sprinkle of that thinking about it in there because I love I love power. But listen, I've been I have been for for eight years now. Hyped up by CJ and Yummy Cheese Man, only to have my heart broken over and over again by the OC representatives. I would love to see power play, but I'm not giving them round one against Genji. <sighs> Thank you. Yeah, you could potentially beat him. I think Gen I think it'd be the upset. I think it's the upset, but that'd be the upset of the year. It would be that a good would. upset. It'd be a great one. It'd be, an, it'd be an upset. I just think there's something to be said about when you can game plan for one specific team for weeks. Mm -hmm. I think, That's I great. Think... Gigi could do that too. I, no. GG and four. <laughs> uh, well, they're not doing that, but <laughs> they're definitely not game planning for power. Probably not. I'll say Gen G. All right. Gentlemates versus Rule One. Ah, the floater from heaven going up against the Rule One boys, huh? <laughs> floater from heaven is crazy. That's, that's the <laughs> nickname now. 
Right. And, no. Until they prove me otherwise. <laughs> until they prove me, they're going to be called the floor from heaven team. Okay, I'm, I'm taking rule one here. I'm going to take the rule one. Rule one squad. <sighs> mm. I mean, gentle mates, gentle mates, they've been on a, they've been on a downtrend, but rule one, I haven't really seen too, too much out of, especially, I think they played their best, honestly, in the first qualifier. I think they, they did push Falcons harder in the second qualifier, but I think they played their best in the first qualifier. Um, and then the third one, it wasn't even close. Mm. Uh, I don't know, kind of both teams in a little question mark. You got Seiko, Itachi, Deuce. You got the old... SRG duo with Nupo. Ah, that's tough, man. I, I don't, I don't want to pick this yet. Demar, what you think? I'm going rule one on this one. <laughs> oh, I think wait, you, know, you, you think? got the experience of uh, of Aman boys, and then yeah, sure, Nupo's first one, but he's gonna come in. He's gonna make a splash. He's got good, he's got yeah. good experience behind him. Macy, of course, they have been here before, but I just don't. I don't. I can't. I'm saying as as much as. He's hyped about they they say Napo's the the next coming of Zen. Like he's talked about this highly. I gotta see it. Like I, I'm I'm taking rule one off the chance that he's gonna perform. He's gonna show up and just beat a guy. You also gotta think that like we were talking earlier about like what teams are coming in with the most pressure. We didn't even mention Mina. I think both these teams, no matter until Mina wins worlds, and even maybe then it increases. I don't know. There's just they put so much pressure on themselves here. I think rule one's gonna come in very ready. Give me rule one. Okay, okay, rule one. I'll take it. I can go to rule one. I think I can see a rule one in three, two. I can yeah, see that. I put, you put in five, though. Yeah, do it in five. I can, I can see rule yeah. one in three, two. Okay. Rule one in five. Are we doing a series score or something? Yeah, because that, that impacts, impacts the next yeah, round. Unfortunately. Ah, okay, okay, got okay. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Yeah. Got um, Falcons OG. Mm. Oh. I ain't gonna lie to you. I think this OG score, I got some talent on them. I did, I but do they got, but are, the, but are their joints limber enough? I don't know the speed, man. <laughs> uh, I don't think they got it. I'm gonna take Falcons. Hey, Falcons. I kind, I kind of want to go. I kind of want to go OG just for the start. But I mean, I literally the argument I just made for Rule One is more true about Falcons. So I don't know. <laughs> I, uh, I got, I'm going Falcons on this one. All right, let's go Falcons. Mm, go right. Falcons three one. Illuminosity going up against Fury. All right, yeah, Falcons three one. And the LG Furia, yeah, LG Furia, interesting. I believe that match has happened in the second match of the day. That's going to be hype. Yeah, I think LG's going to come in with such a good game plan against them boys. I got LG. LG, mm. I, I think there's something to be said about you can game plan against one specific team. Well, yeah, but you think Fury is not going to be game planning against... I think that other... I think that there's some teams that benefit more from game planning against one specific team mm. than other teams do. And I think mm. that a power, I think an LG. Honestly, I, I think all the underdogs benefit more when you could game plan against one team than a better team does against you. That's true. That's true. It is round of one too. I'm what about the uh, what about the the uh, the the not, not the unknown factor that that Sam always comes in with? You're not I taking know. that into account. It might be unknown, but I think as well that Furious the Furious playing at a very fast pace, and I think LG's got a great game plan to demo. <laughs> and slow down that pace. <laughs> Fury likes so, to get in the air. Kind of hard to demo people in the air. Nah, it's not even about that. I mean, they got to get in the air too, but I mean, they just going to be zooming. And I think LG's going to be zooming with them. Just demo and slapping them around. And then I think that gives you a good chance. I think it's going to be a slap box. I think it's going to be ugly. I think it ain't going to be pretty. And uh, I think I think LG can beat him in 3-2 with a great game plan. Look, I, I, I think you're on to the right track. I think LG can have the great game plan, the great demos and everything to slow them down, but I think they're going to have the first land jitters for Magic Bear Cheese, especially. Yeah. I think I think Fury's going to take this one. I think Cheese and, and Magic Bear might warm up a little bit. They need time to warm up. I, I agree, I agree. I th I think you, give, you give them, like, by the, end of the, by the end of the Swiss, LG be looking good, maybe, but that first round, that's going to be hard. Mm. Riddles can't be experienced for all three of them. I mean, Ma Ma Magic got a little bit of experience. He's at Spring Major. Got a little bit of, got a little bit of, got a little bit of, uh, got his feet went a little bit. Okay, mm -hmm. but y'all gonna fear it? Wait, Demar, who'd you pick? Ah, uh, it's, it's hard. It's really hard, but I think, uh, for me on paper, I would go Fury here. All right, well, with your heart. With my heart? <laughs> He's trying to sway it into LG. Let's live in, let's live in fantasy world for a second. <laughs> right. My heart, ah. Uh, I heard probably had LG and five. 
Okay, there we go. We tied up 2 2. How are you having it? No, I said Fury, though. Fury. No, <laughs> I'm going Fury. He's taking Fury. Though. You got the answer you wanted and hung up the phone. Uh, so, what's the series score for Fury? I'm going to say, I'll say 3 1. I mean, if they beat him, yeah. it's going to be like a 3 1. Yeah. yeah. All right, we'll go, we'll go 3 1 Fury here. All right, so then we need. We need. Uh, be a 3 0. That just means the game plan went down, downhill. It, it, well, yeah. it could, I think they have like a good game plan. Like who, like who, who's to say that these aren't one goal games? Exactly, True. it could be three zero. It could be game plan didn't work if it was only one game, <laughs> one, one one goal game. You got to win something. I mean, it just takes an unfortunate bounce. Uh, somebody no, no unfortunate you. bounces. Figure it out. I, I mean, think I could, I could see the series going lopsided very quickly. Like Fury could drop six goal yeah, games man, on yeah, them. Yeah, they, they come out, they come out, then they whoop, whoop them. That's what yeah. I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I believe in, I believe in the LG game plan. Mm. See, I, I don't know. I I think it it takes cheese. Like I think cheese is the it factor for luminosity. I think like, when they, right. uh, really? and this is his first land, man. I don't know. If he... I think I think I'm looking at magic more than I'm looking at cheese. I'm not worried about any flares. I'm ready for him. Anyway, what series? Right, okay, boom. Boom. There's boom. our updated. There's our updated. There we go. Oh, all right. This is so fun. Round round two. I don't like K Corp versus complexity. Oh, that's horrifying. <laughs> that's horrifying. <laughs> I mean, Complexity I mean, get... just took down Vitality. I know, they could be Carmine, too. Oh, oh. Mm, uh, oh. I, nah. I love, I, love, I love Complexity, but I definitely got Carmine out, of, out in 3-0. So. 3-0! 3-0! Like, in, in the Swiss, in the Swiss. In the Swiss. Oh, oh okay, like, okay. Be one of the <laughs> I'm with I'm with Wavy. I'm with Wavy. I got, I got Carmine, I got Carmine 3-2. Does it go 3-2, three, 3-1, three, either one. I go three one. I don't think they got. I don't got five. Yeah, I give three one. All right, three one then. K Corp three one. Uh, BDS and rule one. I mm. think BDS is too strong for them. BDS two, go right here. Three zero. Yeah, I'll go BDS three zero. All right. Any? Okay. Oh, this is the matchup. G two oh, Junior oh, matchup. Oh. This is so tough. We get this matchup on land. Uh, this is the this is the must watch right here. Well, the next two series actually. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, like you it. don't like it. <laughs> you don't like it. I don't like that matchup right there. That's tough. Ah, I mean, what's the last? Has Fury ever beaten G two though? The Atomic Doobie having Yan's number. So just so just off of that, mm. Atomic Doobie Atomic Doobie being Yan all the time. I understand it's different teams now, so that's why everybody goes to different teammates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get all that. <laughs> I'm gonna go G two three two G two three two over Fury right here. For the sake of NA, I'm going with you, bro. We are an all NA show right now. Give us G two. <laughs> <Give us that. laughs> That's insane. G two. Uh, what series? What series score? Three two. Three two. Uh, three goes two. To the yeah, three two. Okay. Gen G versus Falcons. Okay, Gen G versus Falcons. And listen, no, somehow Gen G got by power. <laughs> what do you mean somehow? <laughs> <laughs> That's not crazy. Somehow. But then at this somehow point, they got back. Listen, <laughs> a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a miracle. Stop. Honestly, I'm looking at his roster. I'm thinking Falcons three two. Think of Falcons. Yeah, I think I got Falcons too. Falcons three two in the in, in the Swiss. It might be different in bracket. Daz, you got an argument for your boys? I mean, of course I've had an argument for my boys. But unfortunately, I got outvoted. Yeah, I did get outvoted, so there's no point oh. in me even saying an argument. Okay. That's right. Keep things <laughs> up, but save it for later. All right. What's, what's your score? 3-2. Three, 3-2. Two. Three, two. Three, two. All right. We go down to lowers. Vitality versus Limitless. 3-0. Come Three on, now. Gentlemates versus Elevate. Come on, now. Uh, that Elevate team ain't even bad like that. Give them a game. Give them a game. 3-1. You think it's 3-1? Give them 3-1. They could, they, could, they, could, they, could, they could take a game, mm-hmm. maybe. LCT uh, taking a game off him, I believe. All right, three one, three one. All right, What's that boy Sphinx. I feel Sphinx like gonna sweet. pop off. I, I, I mean, I, I can see him taking a game. All right, I we'll, think we'll, we'll, we'll give him a game. We'll give him a game. Uh, I'm with we, you though. We disrespect the mates a little bit too much. Yeah, yeah, but it's okay. Um. Oh man. LG versus KCP. Uh, Come on now. That's 3-0. Oh, a... <laughs> wait, wait, VP, you got an argument for KCP? No, I just it just seems. I, I like I, I'm I'm thinking about what you're saying about like mad like yeah, Magic's got an experience on land one time, but cheese warming up. 
Is it going to be a three O seems, I don't know. Yeah, we can go three. It's fine. Uh, I don't got a good uh, argument I, no, for I, KCP. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I, I think maybe three, one, I, I, three, one. I'll three give one. him a game. Yeah. Give him a game. Sure. Give him a game. Oh, <laughs> oh he's still going to go. <laughs> LG, oh, KCP, three, three, one. All right, OG. Bates. All right, OG Bates. Power. OG, OG Power. Who you got? Ah, uh, original power. Nice. Um. <laughs> oh, man. You already know, man. I got to go OG right here. I got, I got Wait, so what? What is going <laughs> what? on, Bates? What, what is mean? happening? Wait, so do you have OG performing better than Gen G's? No, 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 no. That's not. That's not nothing. I have. That has absolutely nothing to do with anything. Is that the power? I told y'all. It's something about these first round matchups. It gives teams that might not have a chance a better chance. But now if it's just in round two, you ain't gonna have enough time to study up on OG. So I got OG. I got OG being power. Give me them three one. Hmm. That's the whole thing. I think round one makes it interesting, man. It's kind of like my league play argument in a way. When you have time to get the game plan against one team, it is. It just really it changes the odds of the series. <sighs> mm, I don't think uh, OC is proved enough for me as well. So uh, I'm gonna go with you. All right. Goodness, All right. I don't know. I just my brain keeps on thinking about the Jekyll and Hyde we saw we saw from OG in Swiss this season, and it's oh. it's a little traumatizing. Like, sure, it it was all at the first part, and they've they've turned over a new leaf now. Love sure that. Did. I want to believe. Love that. It is a but but power. Like, I mean, at some point, you think that that two week boot camp you were you were speaking for would, would count for something well but, yeah they, they they would they they would be one on my bracket against, but y'all got them down to one some reason so yeah, i don't you, know you're saying that they would but you don't <laughs> prepare for two weeks against one team for one matchup i mean well, you don't do that like but that you but matter. you still like you still like you still know that one matchup like yeah you, you still put time and energy and resources into preparing for that is one og matchup. over there yet are they boot camping yet yeah they should be over there i believe okay well, i think it's a three i think it's three one og give me og Okay. Uh so three one OG. Power up to play their boys. Oh, we had that lined up quick. Ooh. Nice. So BDS Falcons. This is nice. This is terrible. <laughs> the KCG2. Oh, <laughs> oh baby. This is awful. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that. Let's go. Hey, this, is, this might be the only chance we got NA Grand Finals right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, that'd be huge. That'd be so sick. So BDS Falcons. BDS Ooh, Falcons, though. Doing that. Mm. I got to go BDS, personally. Loki, I'm going to go Falcons. I'm I got go Falcons. I got Falcons 3-2. I, I got Falcons 3-2 go Falcons over BDS right here. Oh, oh is it tie? Oh. Is it 2-2 two, two? Yeah, what do we do with oh, the tie? Chat, chat breaks the Yo, tie. Chat. chat. All Namar, right. Namar, start, a, start a poll or something. And then while they're, while they're voting, we can move on to the next match. Okay. You guys talk about KCG2. I'll start with this poll. All right. KCG2. Ah! Uh -huh. Yeah, Listen, Bates, I want to hear your thoughts. I'm just on a... <laughs> <laughs> They're going to call me Bice, but I'm the man. I just think that this... I didn't even think that G2 squad's on a mission. I think Carmine's also on a mission. I think these are the two best teams here. Check the polls up. Vote on the poll. I think these two teams are, are on a mission right here, but... Ah, it's, it's, I don't know. I'm just not seeing a world in which G2 loses a series this whole entire land. Look at me, G2. <laughs> Give me G two three one. Wow. Can, can no, you can you elaborate on what it may what it is about G two that makes them impenetrable in an uh, in a in a regional land? Well, I'll tell you. Well, it's not impenetrable. They, they, listen, they got flaws and crazy, they got to work close. on them. But but in saying that, how does mean? How just think that's the best the best skill team in the world? I think that what T Shock says is very relevant though. I think that's the only fault they might have. It's just two of them. One, they might start off slow. Which they mm -hmm. could. So they might mm -hmm. not even be in this position. And then two is that they do rely heavily on those mechanics. And when they own, they own. But I think we did see, and I think this is G2 saving grace, is that when they played Gen G, the mechanics were necessarily own and they were struggling. Struggling is in they were still only losing by one goal in like four to five games. But struggling mm -hmm. is in they weren't G2. So I think they're going to have time to prepare, get locked in. I just think them boys on a mission, man. I think Carmine's on a mission as well, but I think G2 is just a better team on paper. So I'm gonna take him three two. Three two. I got Carmine. I got him out three oh here, but I, it's, it's, I think it's I think it's in game seven. <laughs> no, three oh in the Swiss. Oh, oh, they're, going to game five. they're going game five. They're going game five. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. Okay. This Tomorrow, poll, by the way, is nuts. 
Yeah, the poll. Yeah, there's so a, the Falcons are in the lead by four votes. Good, keep voting. Now, it's now they're in the lead by two votes. Oh well, listen. You put Falcons out there, not the BDS <laughs> fans that, that, who are just listening audi- audibly. It's tied at two forty. That's crazy. Yeah, it's well, actually tied. It's about to. It's about to finish. Somebody vote for. Somebody vote oh for my Falcons. god! It's literally like a one vote. Two <laughs> vote. Wait, BDS just took the lead. Listen, don't make me hop on the stream and vote. <laughs> no, Wait, no, Falcons, no, we, we are close. casting two ballots. Falcons oh, took the lead. lead. Wait! Oh. oh my God! It's too close! Falcons. Oh my Whoa. goodness! Three hundred twelve votes for Falcons. Three hundred five votes for BDS. That's how close it is, man. That Falcons is how win? close that matchup. Falcons win. All right, there we go. Falcons win. I got G. I got G two. Waves got Carmine. and Raul. Chris, uh, I mean Ben. We'll do Falcons in five. Because of how close. I it think. Was. I think the 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 close. EU gameplay is gonna be too strong for D two. I gotta go, Carmine. Oh. Man, I gotta mm, go. Mistake. The more you, you could be, you could be the saving grace. I actually, know if it goes to chat, send this one to the chat too. If it goes, it goes to chat. It ain't gonna look good for me. It it's gonna not gonna look good for me at all. <laughs> <laughs> not, yes, I, I, I just think you just lose. <laughs> no matter what, because if it's a tie, chat votes, you lose there. But if I choose KC, then KC just wins either way. I mean, chat could pull the chat could pull us with a. Uh, it's something they've never done before. They could pick the upset. Chad, do you want to vote? If you want to vote, we'll, I'll throw up a poll right now. I got you. They're gonna be like, uh, well, nah, who are you bro. picking? Why are you asking that? Who do you actually believe you're going to win? Who do I believe that it's going to win? Yeah. Um. Jesus. Uh. Hold on. You're making a poll. I ain't making a poll. Just, just so. Why are you making? Oh, sorry. So you actually believe G two is going to win? <laughs> All right, chat. Polls up. <laughs> polls up. Do you, do you think? Do you up, think G two is going to win this? G2 versus K Corp. 2 0 in Swiss. Come on, chat. It's not looking good. They're up 100 votes already. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I'm 100 votes. Tell the Carmine Wall. Yeah. Tell, tell the Carmine Army to get out of here. Do the loo. Yeah, they're up 200 votes now. <laughs> All right, fine. Carmine wins it. Carmine wins it. Five. Let's keep moving. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll give that one to Casey. I was going to say Casey. And what? 3 1, 3 3 2? We'll throw him a bone. Ah. I th- Three, yeah, three, two. I don't sure. like the way you said that. <laughs> <laughs> Gen G versus OG. Yeah, three, two, three, two. Gen G versus OG. I'm going Gen G. Mm. Oh, wow. Gen G that. barely beat OG last night. Yeah. <laughs> what does someone want to say? A win is a win. Hey, sure. Trust me. Mm. Yeah, I was just asking about the fact that the uh, the context. What, what, was, think... what was barely? It was four two. <laughs> four two, uh, four two. Remember calm, one time... calm dove in overtime. Give him a free overtime help. winning game six. Yep. That's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Give me GG4. <laughs> he said that's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> listen, Namar, listen. I haven't been picking GG. I'll pick him right here. Give me GG. They're, they're a 3-1 special. They're a 3-1 special. They love going 3-1 to split, switch this season. You going against the green, Wavy? Nah. All right. We'll take GG right. then. So we, we good with GG4? I yes, like GG4 right here. 3-1. All right, 3-1. GG1 and 4. Fury versus Gentlemates. Mm. I got fear. I got fear. Three one. Three one. Three one. Oh, I see. I I think base just don't like gentlemates at this point. What? Mmm. Atachi, Seiko, Juicy. I think Atachi and Seiko are great players. And Juicy. <laughs> no, you don't. That, that, that Juicy was a little lagging. It was lagging behind a little bit. But tomorrow's talking. I didn't want to cut him off. <laughs> Appreciate that. Welcome, man. Right, I'm not gonna get out uh, yeah. this switch. I'm gonna go, 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 go for you. I'm gonna go for you. Hmm. Wavy? Probably gets correct. Uh, wavy it's, P? It's, it's, it Sorry, I call Wave Punk Wavy P, y'all. I know y'all been saying Wavy in the chat. Oh, that's fine. Who is Wavy? The, the TSM player. Oh. Wavy's a oh, TSM yeah, that's, player. That's, that's, wavy is someone else. That's funny. <laughs> um, yeah, ugh, I don't know. This, this one feels hard. I think, I think Furia. Probably, especially coming off of a warm, like a thing of this, like thing about Swiss Fury just played G two, Gentlemates just played Elevate. I think the the mental for Fury is going to be in a better spot for this specific lineup. If this is how things panned out, give me Fury. Hmm, that's a good comps. Outvoted. That's a good comps. I'll join. I'll join on the Fury. Yeah, no choice. Three one. What? Everybody already <laughs> voted for everybody. Oh, everyone. Yeah. Oh, my bad. I didn't. <laughs> Fury three one. I don't worry, for Raul. Don't worry, you can lead off this time, man. Complexity versus Luminosity tomorrow. Complexity versus LG. Hmm. I'm going to go 
LG on this one. I think uh, especially if like LG, they, they did that game plan thing. It didn't work this year. They get that KCP matchup. They go against Complexity, kind of playing them a little bit similar. Complexity coming off of a loss to KC. It's a little bit of a closer matchup, but I think I think LG, they get that one at five. I think LG at five. I might be alone on that. I'm kind no, of I'm piggybacking not. off of what uh what I was just saying about like the previous round matchups here. I think going from Carmine playing Carmine, losing to Carmine, and then immediately having to play against LG is such a like tone shift, such a play style shift that like complexity is going to play those first two games and be like, what is going on? They're not, like, <laughs> it's it's going to be a it's going to be a kind of a, a bamboozle here. I could see LG taking this. So I think got? these are on different days. Give me LG. Give me LG. LG. Ooh. Oh, is this on a different day? Yeah. That's tr- oh, that's true. It's true. This oh, is so they this got, they day got prep one, day time. Two. Oh man. Yeah. Oh. Hey. With prep I'm going time, LG as well. I think yeah, maybe maybe that even makes it better. I it think might be play, knowing how LG plays and playing against LG are kind of two different things. You can you can prepare on paper, but then you got to actually deal with it on the pitch. I'm taking complexity, man. Three one. Wait, is Base the only one on complexity? Because I'm taking LG. I think it was yeah. Yeah, we got LG then. LG three two. Mm. LG five. All right, <clears throat> rule one versus vitality. Vitality three zero. I think you have three yeah, one. I agree. But... Nah, I, I, nah, we yeah. haven't had enough sweeps here. Real. We need more sweeps. <laughs> <laughs> Are they losing three zero? Yep. Three zero. Yep. Nah, <laughs> Right. Vitality's ramped up by this point. Yeah, they're ready to go. World champs are ready to make the uh, make a run now. Power limitless. Uh, there you go, uh, Bates. Power three zero. There you go, buddy. All right, cool. <laughs> power three zero. KCP versus Elevate. Uh, elevate three one. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna go Elevate. Elevate. <laughs> yeah, I want to go I'm Elevate. Down. I'm down. What? Yeah, let's go. What? Let's go with the young guns. The young guns. Sphinx. What? Why are we still on KCP power. like this? Right, I'm out, I'm I know, I know. It's, it's, I, I, kind of, I was on the KCP side, and then you both said elevate so strongly. I just want elevate to win so badly. And I'm like, sure, yeah, yeah. Let's just go with that. Come on, come on, Sphinx. You got it, baby. What do you have? What have you seen out of KCP that gives you so much faith in them tomorrow? The their previous, all of their previous land performances. That's it's Fiverr, Amphis, and I already forgot their third. Uh, scrub, <laughs> scrub, scrub, scrub. Man, yeah, what? scrub. Like and those are three good players, you know. Those are good, three good players, and you know what they did in OCE? Struggled. I mean, and Power just absolutely dominated them. So, either, like I said, either Power's kind of the same thing along uh, Sam lines. Either Power's really just that great, or all these other teams just ain't. And I just don't. And I and I think it. I think it's a mix in between. I think Power's really good, and I think all the other teams are struggling right now. I'm That's great, that but they're not elevate. Don't like when was elevate? Yeah, I think elevate beat Virtuoso and them boys though. Is Virtuoso and the boys better than Power or Pioneers? That's a good. I mean, but you act like the Elevate didn't be just just play nobody. They beat some good players. But did they beat Pioneers? I mean, not yet. Or but any they will. OCE team? They, they, they will. They, they, they will. They will. When they when they when they three one Pioneers right here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not voting, but like it's whatever, bro. Yes, sir. What? Elevate, come on, baby. Ah. Uh, elevate three. three I think three, three two. Three, two. Like three one. Three one. Oh, okay, three one. Three one. Three one. I'm with that. I'll say three two, but like three one, I'm cool. I'm cool. Damn, that's insane. Ah. <laughs> that is up. insane. EDS versus Luminosity. Yeah, that's sorry, EDS. Right, that won't be happening. That's a three zero. Yeah, I'm sorry. That is unfortunate. Yeah. I, the more I keep thinking, <laughs> I, I was predicting LG over Complexity with a day to like prepare. I'm starting to think that's like we're predicting an upset there. Yeah, you are. I don't, I don't know. I think. I think. <laughs> uh, the more I'm rethinking that match, I'm like, eh, maybe that was a complexity win. We should put down. But oh, well, yeah, yeah. LG. Not that was an upset. Yes. That's fine. That's an upset. EDS three zero. All right. Oh, and then we get El Classico. Yeah. Well, oh, since y'all that... got since y'all got G since y'all got G two losing, I'm gonna go Gen G three two. I like that. I'll go GG G as well. No, <laughs> no, no. Give me G two. G <laughs> two didn't need to didn't need the win last time they played. This time it's for real. It's in the major. They'll be taking it seriously. Bro, what do you think? Don't give me none of that. I'm going Gen G. Wow, yes, it, was, it, wasn't, it wasn't a okay. fluke. They exposed them for real. Apparently, G two is fraudulent. 
Vitality oh, versus no Furia. Chat. I already told you the world champs are warmed up by this point. Give me, give me Vitality. Yeah, three, two. Vitality. I agree. Actually, no, uh, three cool. one. Actually, no, three two. <laughs> make, something, <laughs> make something, man. Actually, it's a four, four, four five. Wait, they broke the format. <laughs> Oh yeah, four. Vitality and five. Vitality and five. OG elevate. Ah, elevate. You had a great series, but now yeah. you're going out. Three oh. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, I think that experience comes through. All right, cool. Gentle mates power. Oh. oh come on, Bates. <laughs> your power, your power squad, and the, and the mates you don't like. <laughs> listen, 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 listen. <laughs> listen, that power squad, man. I mean, listen, I got a lot of faith in OG That's right insane. here. I got a lot of faith in OG right here. I think, I think power beats the gentle mates right here. Insane, I think bro. power beats the floater from heaven right here. I think they beat him 3 2. Power moves on, gentle mates goes out. I'm going gentle mates. I can't, I mean, we gotta I stop the delusion. Yeah, we we gotta go fight go back. Go Can we fight back, gentlemen? Please. <laughs> Please. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. We're all, we're all wave. Listen, hear me out now. Uh, Don't wait, hear wait, him I'm, out. What have you uh -huh. seen from Gentle Mates ever since first regional? You haven't seen anything. No. Put on earplugs. You haven't you haven't seen anything from the squad. They are they are, they have been they have been riding high. Their whole reputation has been riding high on the first qualifier, which is great for them. They had a great floater from heaven. It was fantastic, and that was fantastic. If they didn't have that, they would have been playing. I think maybe they would not. Have, I don't know. Somebody if they take away three points from them. I'm not looking at the leaderboards right now. Take away three points from them. Are they playing a tiebreaker? <laughs> they either playing a tiebreaker or they one point making a major or something like that. It's something very close. They might not even be here. So power. But then, mm. So you got to think about that for gentlemen. But then power on the hand, man. You got. I do believe CJ CJ this time. I think this power team, man. They play, they play perfect. All OC, man. Nobody can touch them. I think that matters, bro. Give me power. I like Is power over here making mates. a top eight in Europe. Yeah, they, yeah, they can. I don't know. They, I don't know if they will. It depends uh, on this two-two matchup. But I, I mean, think they can I beat mean, if, right if here. They, if they do here, they'll they'll be making a top eight in Europe. Mm -hmm. in, oh no, in he's Copenhagen. talking about in, in, in EU. I know, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, kind of close. But yeah, yeah, they can do that. Yeah. So give me, uh, give me Jenna Bates. Bro, who you got? I heard oh, no, Jenna Bates. Give me power. My bad. Give me power. Give me power. Three, two. I heard you, Bates. I heard you, man. I know, we haven't you. seen much from Jenna Bates since. You haven't seen it. But we mm. haven't seen really anything since Drip A was relevant in OCE. <laughs> so I'm gonna go Gentle Mates. Sorry, ah. buddy. Wave. You know Freaking what? Tie. You know what? I want to see what Chad thinks about it. You convinced me, Bates. Give You're... me power. Pull. There we go. That's all I like to see. There's no the, way the, this the pole. Is the pole. I want to see power. Give me power, man. I, I believe right, in this power squad, pole. man. I, I think there's something in the water. I told you I'm Mr. International now. I got to rep everybody. <laughs> <laughs> what? All right. Pole is up, man. Chad, if y'all don't go with power, you don't want to have fun. And also, you don't believe in you don't believe <laughs> well, in storyline. So, wow. so this <laughs> is the base on fun. No, 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 no. I'm just saying. I'm just. I'm just saying. You haven't seen nothing from Gentle Mates as of late. Now, you want to look on paper. Of course, Gentle Mates is the better team, but I just think they've been missing something the last couple of weeks. They've been missing that it factor. I agree with you, but like we haven't we haven't seen nothing from OCE in how long? Listen, well, I told you this is the land. This is the land where the International Rocket League comes out to play. I think Power Power takes out one of EU's finest. Chad, do not troll me. Please. And I troll, they and are, I troll. That's close. It's and close. I troll. Listen, Chad, if you can hear me, I, I think, I think save it's close me, for no reason. Please like, save me, Chad. Chad, 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 Chad. If you can Chad, hear me, please save me. Nah, don't listen please to Chad. Remember, this Chad. graphic's going out on Twitter please later. You can, you got power right now. Exactly. Please literally. No pun intended. Actually, I'm so much power. <laughs> no pun intended. I think you go with power right here just because you believe in OCE. Chad, do you want we have do you want Rocket League to just be Europe? No, you don't. What Chad, you want, do you ever want to know ball? Do you want to be smart? Do you want to like actually have your opinion matter? This is the moment. Or do you Don't want to see the troll. drama? If you troll, I'm Come branding on. you as traitors. I'm never trusting you ever <laughs> well, again uh, on this broadcast you're channel. Yeah, yeah, you're not, it's not like we're a sovereign, sovereign entity. I mean, who, who, who are they being traitors to? <laughs> Themselves. The things that are right. Things Someone said right? Daz is right. Power up! <laughs> That's right. Give me that. Give me that power. Did they pick power? <laughs> no. It, it, it's, it's looking like a mate. Nah, they're, still like on. they're still holding on, but whatever. <laughs> time. Whatever. When Power wins this matchup, well, no, well, no, well, they'll be playing Gen G. So when Power beats Gen G, they're not <laughs> oh, beating Gen G. Keep saying, keep saying that. Bro, if Power beats Gen G, you're gonna have to find me, bro. I'm not. I'm going into hiding, bro. <laughs> that man's <laughs> that man's flying back home. <laughs> All right, complexity wow. versus rule one. Yeah, this one's over. Complexity versus fun, rule one. I got complexity being rule one right here, three one. Yeah, rule one out of the major in Swiss. That's right. I don't see uh, it that way, man. Rule one's got a lot of tough matchups in here, though. I'm looking at. 
They do, and I think they're going to be warmed up by this time. I think I'm going to take row one here. Sorry. Okay. I just don't, I don't see Dorito, man. I, I just can't, I can't have Dorito. I, I, I don't know. I, I haven't <laughs> seen Dorito yet, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, complacency beating Vitality, though. Yeah, that, that was the beginning of the, the Swiss. That, that's the only chance he got for me, man. The very beginning of the tournament. Uh, I just I'm, I'm kind of with happen. Roll here. Like roll <laughs> Someone one. said Roll got beef with the tortilla chip. <laughs> tortilla <laughs> chip is crazy. Call that a nacho. <laughs> uh, I got beef with some nachos. All right, let's get to the bracket, bro. All right, yeah, so Roll 1, what's the series score? Wait, you pick Roll 1? Yeah. Ah. I go 3-1. All right, 3-1. Yeah. All right, we got to wait for it to update. 3 1 rule 1. They're doing the math in the back, folks. Bunch of calculators <sighs> smoking. We've got a couple <laughs> upsets. couple upsets. We do have a couple. Yeah, that, that, that complexity luminosity is, I mean, so I guess, I guess if it was the other way around, you got, you could have, you would have complexity in round five when they lose to BDS. And maybe, maybe it would have panned out differently with scores and stuff, but. We, we're saying, we're, we're predicting that complexity is going to create the upset and then also get upset. Okay. Interesting. G2 rule one. Ooh. Ooh. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I mean, I got, I got to go G2 this on this one. Yeah. I, I, I'm saying because I'm like, oh, poor three rule one. This is where you end rule one. I'm sorry. All right, think about that bracket when you think about these uh, match scores. I don't need to think about anything. 3 -0. No, 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 no. We can't think about the bracket. Think about what. Think about the match. Exactly. Okay. Thank you, Wave. 3 0. Good comms. Wait, setting up some shit. <laughs> this ain't SSA, baby. Uh, you're uh, so th oh. this ain't necessary. <laughs> <laughs> 3 0 uh, G2. 3 0? 3 1. That's right. Okay, he, Wave says 3 1. They're, they're playing for their tournament life there. I think Rule 1's going to give them their best. I think Rule 1 make it this far. I'll, I'll go 3. I'll go 3 2. 3 but, 2? I can do 3 yeah. 2. 3 2? I'm to say 3 0. <laughs> <laughs> three oh, so we can split the baby. We can make it three one. Oh, okay, yeah, that's fine. There you go, three one, <laughs> three one, three one, three one, <laughs> three three one. G two, Furia versus OG. Ah, Furia versus man, OG. That, man, oh, that's a tough one. OG, unfortunately, I love, I really do love y'all, but uh, I can't yeah. pick anyone. I think uh, I gotta go I got Furia. Furia. I think I gotta oh, go Furia here. Oh, I think I gotta go Furia here. Three two, Furia three two. Mine, Furia, three, yeah. two. Man, that two. that sucks. <laughs> look at, like I'm saying, like it happened. Like, man, it sucks. They're losing the fury. <laughs> yeah. oh, man. Area three two. Mace luminosity mates. Luminosity versus mates. Me, Lumi mates shouldn't even be here. But anyway, so luminosity. It <laughs> shouldn't <laughs> be here because of power. Yep, that's nah. right. Power would have beat him. So I've got a uh, got luminosity being mates here. Three one. That's crazy. Nah, I got mates. Ah, shoot. Get, OVP. I want to believe. I want to believe in the human seeking missile, but I got mates. <laughs> Listen, you might as well pick mates as well, because Chats ain't going to pick Luminosi. <laughs> so, so, yeah. mates, if they go beat him, they go beat him 3 0. Yeah, yeah I kind of agree. That would be crazy for bracket. Mm. I'll no, say 3 1, but I, I, I'll go with 3 0. That's fine. I think there's some, some, some tilt there. I'll go three one. And my mouth and my and my quick looking at this is right. And that means the one C gonna be playing Fury. Now nah, I don't know what Fury is uh game difference with. Is that right. that's Car K Court? That'd be some shame if Car Carmen Court plays Fury in that first round. <laughs> Dang. It's three oh uh, is it three oh gentle mates? Or is it three three one three one three one three one? Alright, three one. Oh, right, that might change it. That might have swayed it right there, that one game. We'll see. This is a crazy way. Cause you gotta, you gotta see how the brackets gonna go. Brackets. I know. The tension is palpable. <laughs> yeah, we're just sitting here waiting for the bracket. I'm just yeah. sitting, sitting on the edge of my seat with anticipation. <laughs> so Carmine, I think the top, the C, top eight's Falcons, tough. Two C. Wait, it's fine. Some good it's teams. This is, a, this is a tough bracket. Like top eight bracket. This will be so exciting. There's no Top bad eight. matchup. There's no All bad matchup. All matches, crowd matches. 
I want to see the bracket. Uh, how do we feel about this? Was are we happy with this list? Uh, this way, this, this, uh, this if way, we this change way, anything, we got to change a lot of stuff afterwards. So. Well, I mean, like, <laughs> if there's anything you would change, I think I think the LG versus complexity upset is the one I would I would change if I were to go back and do it again. Mm. All right, bracket's ready. Get I it do up. like complexity. All right, let's see. Oh. Take on Gentlemen's Vitality Gen G, oh. Falcons Furia BDS G2. I love it. I love it. <laughs> this is the, this is the EU so cannibalization nice. bracket. They got is it a three on one side? Yep. <laughs> it sure is three on one side. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I, I think it's inevitable. <laughs> like, honestly, I, think I don't like inevitable. Sam and Mina playing each other. Can we switch this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is rough. That's super tragic. <laughs> they have to oh, face well. each other around one there. All right, Carmine versus Gentlemates. Yeah, put Carmine through. K Corp. Although that'd be a fun matchup crowd wise, though. K Corp for one. fun. Yeah, but I want Blue Wall versus the Swarm again. Mm, I'll okay. even take I'll take Carmine Corp versus Gen G, but man, imagine the, the yellow and blue went hard in Germany. I think we're gonna yeah. see that again. So I'm gonna yeah. go Vitality next round matchup. Okay, so K Corp, Gentlemates 4 1. We're, we're in agreement on that. Uh, Vitality, Gen G. What's the consensus here? I got Vitality. I, I got Gen G. You should know that. Yeah, we, we know. We know. You should um, know Basin, that. Uh, Basin Wavy P. I need FK to get his. That's his, hard. Uh, this is a good match. I think it's a great match. I think it's a great match. I think it's a great match, but I think Gen, I think Gen G is going to be able to beat him right here. Give me Gen G Mobile One over, <laughs> over the reigning world champs. Four three. Four three. That's right. This is insane, right. bro. Wait, you don't think Gen G can win this? No, I don't. If Gen G can be G2, they can be Vitality. That's right. What? Yep. How do you even quantify that? Like, you can't. You well, actually G2, can't. Well, I went. Mm. Wait, you I'm just, can't. You I'm can't. Just, quantify I'm just saying it. that I think G2 is on the same level as Vitality. So if they can be them, then they can be the other team. I, when I draw this up in my head right now, it's Vitality. Oh, I think if I it goes to the chat, Vitality's just going to win. <laughs> <sighs> I don't know. Oh, 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 dude. I'm it's like sorry, going to the chat. Man. Yeah, it is in the chat right now. The chat has it. The only, the only hope they have is Zen bumping his teammates like he did and, and Verdosen own goal in more times than he already does. Like, there's no <laughs> chance. Man. No, I don't want to. Yeah, have. counting what? on Rattle mistakes is a bad, a bad business plan. <laughs> Absolutely right. not. Falcons versus Furia. Yeah. So Why do they always play Falcons? Falcons? I'm going to go Falcons. I'm going to go yeah. Falcons here. I'm not, it's not a confident Falcons here for me, but I'm, I'm going Falcons. I, I can go Falcons 4-2. Four, 4-3, four, actually. I can go uh, I can go the old rule one, boys, plus hmm. TRK. Plus TRK is Furia. Oh, that'd be a match. That'd be a match. You gotta think them them rule one boys the the twins they went top four before without without TRK TRK is, I mean he's proven yeah that's valid all right I I can see the Falcons train all right Falcons over Furia four to two I believe let's do four two and then BDS versus G two oh look at the poetry yeah, remember <laughs> that and great the great the greatest uh, RLCS announcement of all time was the G two we've seen this before four one. No, 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 no. Yes. <laughs> Next one. No, 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 no. We're just lower right there. All right, walk it back. We're gonna walk it back, and we're just gonna know the G two. They made a team to maybe beat down BDS, and then they're gonna beat them right here. Give me G two over Monkey Moon for the first time. If I remember correctly, you said this team will take down the Blue Wall and then maybe try their best against BDS. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I said maybe. I said maybe. Trust me. You were confident about the Carbon Core. I know, yeah, but I said maybe it gets BDS, yeah. but don't worry, they go get over the Monkey Moon Hurdle today. Give me G2 over BDS and give me it in six. G2 beats BDS. I like it. I like it right here. Vitality does win the poll. Yep. I like 30, 36 votes. Uh, it was close. It was close. It was close. Goodness. Ah. This one's so tough. But I'm going to ride with Bates. D2, we're taking the storyline. They got to go up against Carmine Corp. I got G2. He's got G2. That's two votes for G2. Demar. 
It's like a Gen G already got eliminated. He's gonna be a hater. Look at here he comes. Here he comes. <laughs> <laughs> if Gen G can't win, then <laughs> if if I can't have my toys, then nobody gets that. <laughs> I almost said something I couldn't say. This stuff. <clears throat> Give me the machine. 2.0. We're going G2. Okay. All right. G2, 4, 2. Look Ooh, at wow. that. And you versus the world finals. Gosh. We don't like that. I can already hear, I can already hear the copium. I can already hear the copium. You got to take themselves out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, see, see, you say that, but you got to think. G2 took down BDS. I know, BDS yeah. BDS is yeah, playing yeah, better yeah. than KC than everybody else. <laughs> yeah, so... Right. We, we can stop with the cope right there. That's right. That's right. We can shut that down immediately. Let's go Falcons G2 first. Falcons G2 first. G2's got destiny. Then we're going to make this grand final. It's inevitable. <laughs> I'm riding with it. The bad Give way. me G2. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tier score, six. G2, 4-2 over Falcons. Sure. They're moving on to the grand finals in Copenhagen. Oh, man. G2, the grand finals. That's right. Listen. You know what? Atomic, he's looking for number two. Pictures taken moments before disaster. <laughs> Who would have thunk? Carmine versus Vitality. Ooh. Give me Carmine, baby. I think I got to go with Carmine if G2's in the finals. Yeah. Running mean, it down. Yeah, I got I got to I got to see Carmine. Give me a seven, though. The on a mission. It's going game seven. Yeah, it's going game, on a mission. It's going game seven overtime. Vati, Vati over two. Top left corner. He's gonna do the he's gonna do the Zen what Zen did to him. Yeah, I'm ready It'll to see Zen back. come over to come over and hug Vatira, reverse the roles. Carmi over Vitality, four or three. I like that. Ooh, Carmi versus oh. G2. Be such a good grand finals if we get there. The number one versus the number one. Jamar, take it away. Blue Wall versus G2. The machine's been cooking. They took down BDS in six and then went on, took down Falcons in six so far. They've beaten it. Especially after I believe they, they took the losses in the Swiss earlier as well. They did. Carmine played G2 early in the Swiss. Y'all had it. Y'all had Destiny and Carmine beat them. And they, they found their footing. It's been looking good. I mean, it's got to go the distance. That is for much for sure. But who do I have? I'm going KC, man. I'm going with KC. Going KC. Yes, sir. Yeah. I'm going, I'm going to blue for KC. Wall, man. I got Vati. Vati's got us, you know, he's on, he's on that run to be the best in the world, man. I got to go KC for this first one. He's got KC roll. Carmine versus G2. Grand finals, who you got? Storylines, man. Fantastic. Dan closed all the, the, the fraudulent allegations that I have for him. Pulling up to the land. Against tough to opponents, BDS, Falcons going up against Carmine Corp where the most pressure is on them. I'm going Carmine. Sorry, Daniel. <laughs> this is where your run stops. <laughs> well, this is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing I can do to win the vote now. I'll tell you, I'll, Bates, I'll tell you this. Bates put out your, put you out of your misery. I'm going Carmine on this one. I don't I don't even think it's four three. <laughs> I think it might be a four one. <laughs> So what's your score? <laughs> <laughs> That's tough. Face can't even speak his piece. It's over for you, buddy. <laughs> We're gonna say four two. Four two is good, right? Yeah, four two. We'll, we'll give him two games. Ground. We'll give him two games. I, I hope it goes to seven. I, I truly hope the grand finals goes to seven. Whoever's in the grand finals, if this happens to be it, I, I hope it goes seven. I Thank hope you. it goes to this. Grand Finals Game 7, always exciting. Yeah. No matter who it is. Okay. Right. <laughs> Bates left the chat, bro, and he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Can we come back to us, please? Yeah, by the way, we're still here. Yeah. He is gone. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's gone. Someone's actually gone. <laughs> he actually left the chat. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Well... Are you are, are we happy with the bracket? I think I'm, I'm delighted with the bracket personally. It's not bad, not bad. Pretty pretty good bracket. Can't if that's the bracket we get, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be over the moon. 
Frogs in the bracket. Hey, it could be associated. So I had to take a step away. <laughs> it could be associated. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag oh my not God. my bracket. <laughs> That's funny. That's a good bracket, though, man. And then, but in looking at it, y'all see what I'm talking about, about how there's so many great teams. Yeah. 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 It there's so like... many great teams. Like, we picked, I mean, we ended up having um the best in EU versus best in A, but you could you could have a bracket where Fury in the finals, finals, Falcons in the finals, BDS yep. could be in the finals. BDS. Yep. Um, Vitality could be in the finals. You think Power uh, can make it to the finals? No. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> That's where the delusion stops. Thank you. <laughs> I don't think Power can make the finals. I think Power can make a top eight, though. I would love to see that. I would love to see that. I think Power can make it all the way to that. Uh, I'll be a little disappointed at Power Squad. They don't go at least 2-2 and then play in that qualified matchup against somebody. I'll be a little disappointed. The world is ready for a truly fierce OCE team. It's I don't been know if they're fierce. Too but long. I think they're good. I'm ex- I, I, like, but we're ready <laughs> for it. Whenever they, whenever they send them, we're ready for it. And we will, like, we will be, everyone will be so excited to see that team take them down if they can do it here. It's hard to believe given, I mean, just, just given history, you know, but like mm. if they show up in Copenhagen, it'd be the biggest thing for the region really ever. And I'd be so excited about it. Listen, that'd be I nice. Agree. I was waiting for Gus. I was waiting for the Gus bus, but he didn't show up. The, the bus stopped working. <laughs> yep, the wheels fell off. You fix the parts there for, for, for good old bus. But I think this does go like to show you, even with like a lot of, because we went to chat, we went to you guys for a couple of, couple of these. It goes to show you just how like difficult it could be to predict the Swiss, how many different options there are. Even if you get a team right, the series score is also going to be very important because then that affects the next round matchups. And then that could lead to a completely different bracket than what we've got today. If we moved around one single series score, that could have changed up everything here. And we could have had a completely different bracket. So that's why you got to pay attention to keep it locked in for Swiss. We are a week away. We're a week away. We're getting there. It's close. Teams are, are flying out. People are practicing. Scrims are being happening. I'm already knowing people are going to start doing that thing where they say, all right, yeah, we're going to show the scrims between this team and this team. And then people are going to start <laughs> watching the scrims and making their own opinions. And a lot of, you know, a lot of, lots of talk as teams start to get prepared. But I do like the level of competition we have here at Copenhagen. It's going to be a great tone setter for the rest of the season as well. It's going to be exciting, man. I'm ready to go. I'm ready. I'm ready to get it on. Ready to have some I've fun. Had, I've had uh, dreams the last two nights that I showed up in Copenhagen without packing. And it was like panicking that I didn't have anything like any suits. I've never eight years of doing this. I've never once had that dream before. But oh, that's I'm ready to go. I hope it's no, not. Let's, a let's, ho- hopefully not. Hopefully not. I'm, 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 I'm going to put my stuff. You better right start packing right now. You better start packing right now. All right. Okay. Let's get Mark, can we just skip to the trivia? You want to do trivia or you want to skip is, the trivia? Is, is that, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, we only got five minutes left. So if trivia is going to take more than five minutes, then I will say. We do half of it. Okay, cool. Let's do that then. That's about all, y'all, that's all you can get no. from me. That bracket just took a lot of energy out of me. It did. It did. All right, Chaz, trivia time. I'm going to test the group's knowledge. We got a couple questions I'll give you guys, and we will see. Of course, D-Rec ended up making some of these, so there are some D-Rec level questions here. Oh, no. So, But we'll start off. We'll start off. Which, team we'll start, which team with a vowel in the second position <laughs> won more games <laughs> against teams with vowels in the third position? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll tell you one that I didn't. Uh, actually, no, no, no. Well, yeah, I'll tell you one that I was gonna that we were gonna ask. Which of these OC e teams has not made an ROCS event? Is Noisy is Toxic, Gaming United Esports Club Academy White, Fire Breathing Rubber Duckies, and Taumata Wanga? Okay, it's a really long name. That was one I was gonna ask, but we're not gonna ask that one. Uh, <laughs> was the answer none of them? No, there was an answer. It okay. was just a really long answer. Uh, <laughs> question one. Which organization is qualified for the most RLCS lands? NRG, G2, Team Vitality, or Dignitas? I got my answer. I'm I, locked in. I, I don't think I got it. Yeah, me too. All right. All right. Wait, wait, uh, you what do we tell me your answers? I got NRG. Wait, I got NRG too. Bates? I have G2. The answer is... G2 stride. The Copenhagen land is G2's 12th. The org has only missed two lands since entering the scene. How many does G- yeah, uh, yeah, NRG have? 11. Yeah, I think so. Oh, so, so Copenhagen uh, was the difference maker. Damn. Yeah, that's tough. <laughs> yeah. Direct, if you're watching, I might need you to be in the, in the chat for some of those other uh, extra questions. Okay, next one. 
Who's the <clears throat> only player to finish a land with over 500 score per game? First killer, Monkey Moon, Jorius, Justin. I got my answer. Yeah, me too. Wait, Monkey I'm Moon, old. Jorius, Justin, and who? First, First killer. killer. Wait, can you repeat the question one more time? Which, which uh, player? Who is the only player to finish a land with over 500 score per game? First killer, okay. Monkey Moon, Jorius, Justin. You got it, bro? Yeah. Yep. All right. Uh, what's the answers? Oh, I got that too. It ain't Jorius. Ah, man. Mm. Mm, think... Monkey Moon was really close in Winter 21 22, man. He was at four. Oh, it's close. I'm, uh, but Jorius had that land, that, that Swiss land in, in, uh, in, uh, in Sweden where they farm numbers. Mm, I'm gonna say monkey. Mm, I'm gonna say monkey. I, I can't remember who averaged 496. The answer is Jorius. Jorius in Sweden. 21 Jorius 22 Sweden. fall measure. Half his games he had over 500 scoring. Yeah, they have a short <sighs> tournament to have that kind of <clears throat> No, because monkey averaged like four. He must average like 498 or something. Yeah, it was like he four was something. really he was really close to 500. Next yeah, question: all... How many RLCS lands have a have had a non EU NA team finish in the top four? The, two, the number answers are two, oh. three, five, seven. <clears throat> That's answer seven. Uh, four. Was... Answers are two, three, five, and what? seven. Five and seven. And lands. All yes. lands. Uh, RLCS yeah. lands. RLCS lands. <clears throat> okay. Two, three, five, seven. Yep. A five. I got my answer. Hold on, okay, no, I got on. I got my answer. All right, I got mine. It's three. Well, yeah, I would say three. The answer is five. Impossible. Oh my god! Season six of worlds was Chiefs. Twenty one, twenty two Springs oh was god, Falcons. Twenty one, twenty two Worlds was Furia. Twenty one, twenty two uh-huh. Fall was Secret, and twenty two, twenty three Spring was Rural One. Uh, uh, I've been forgetting Rural One finished. We top forgot four. the most recent season. I remember the the three earlier ones. I I I'll be forgetting bro when I was to finish top four, man. It didn't feel like they finished top four. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How many RLCS lands have had only one region occupy all four of the top four spots? The number of answers are zero, one, two, and three. All right, man. Listen, I, 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 listen, I'm not R- RLCS no. uh, historian. So, uh, so <laughs> I, wait. So, one, two, three, and no zero. zero. Zero, one, two, one. three. I'm going to go two. I'll Let go me think, one. man. Let me think. Nope, not that land. Not that land. Yeah, stop, stop looking through Liquipedia. I'm actually looking at a sticky note. <laughs> my Liquipedia's over here. Well, it's actually <laughs> not up, but that's my other monitor. Um, I mean, There's most recent worlds and uh, season two. Think. That's what I'm thinking. I don't remember what happened scene two. I really didn't watch Rock League then. I played it, but I didn't uh, unless, unless unless Triple Take was top four, and I don't remember. That was a long time ago. But not. What their name? No. Take three. All right, man. All right. The answer go is two. one. Yes, uh, sir. Just the last one? worlds was the first time it ever happened with EU taking the entire top four. That must have been. So who was the final? Who was the top four of season two? I'm looking. I think it was. I think it was take three randomly. Um, yeah, take three. Oh, yeah. Ooh, it's double elim. So it's, yeah, take three, Northern Gaming Flipside Market. Yep. Um, All right, that's the final question. Fit that, fit, fit time. You got one more question? I've, I've got bonus one points more. I get this one right? Because right. it's five. Gates will probably fives. get this wrong. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> this one, a history question. Um, or, ooh. Because I got a history one and I got a, a recent one. Nah, that was too easy. Uh, what land record has stood since season one worlds? Goals in a game, best of five series length, saves in a game, assist in a game. I'm not getting this one. I'm. A, I, I got my answer wrong. All right, what's your answer? I say, I say assist. Just because assist uh, in a game. Wait. It was, Somebody scored a, a lot of goals recently, didn't he? Hmm? 
It was it was in, it in was a single save, game. Uh, what land? Yes, goals in a game. There's got to be assists. Someone scored a lot of goals recently, so I'm gonna go assist. The answer is goals in a game. So no, whoever scored a lot of goals didn't beat that record. <laughs> Both Maestro and later in that day, Cookster scored five goals in a game. No, oh, wow. goals in a game. It's been tied oh, five right. times right. six. Oh, it's just tied. But Jack it has tied yet it. to be broken. And it's the only oh. single game record that stands from before the open era. Yeah, Jack tied it in Boston, I think. And yeah. It was, like, I, it was so crazy. In game one, we were like, oh my goodness, he's about to break the record. Yeah, I thought he broke it. Yeah. Nope. I can't remember. Close one. Good oh, questions, well. though. Listen, I went one for five. That's a great percentage. Yeah, me, me I'm too. not passing. <laughs> That's a great percentage. I think I got two. Did I win this one? Yeah, you won. Let's go! Experience, baby! Well, it was I'm good not, at the game shows. I'm not <laughs> passing, man. He's got the ball knowledge. <laughs> No, I, I, my 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 uh, first touch win previously was fraudulent. So that was that was a good win. <laughs> a win is a win. A win is a win. All right, wave again, man. Thank you so much for joining us, man. Wow, thanks for having me. This was a lot of fun. Yeah, I mean, first time we've had you actually, you know, hang out with us. We appreciate it, of course. You know, it was, uh, we're getting ready to close out the show. Any final thoughts? Anything you want to say as we get ready to go to Copenhagen? Folks, hope to see you there. It's going to be if, if this show didn't sell you that it's going to be one of the best Rocket League lands you've ever seen and you're and you're on the fence about getting a ticket, go get it. Exclamation point tickets in chat probably still works. It's going to be a great time. I'm excited to be there. Excited to see excited to see you guys there. All right. That's right. Bates. Listen, I'm ready to rumble. I need to up my percentage. F's do not get degrees. <laughs> right there I with you, bro. We got to get four five. Four for five, but four for five is barely a B. That's a B minus. And some would say that's a C, depending on depending on the uh, depending on the curve. That's terrible. I don't like that. That's not good. <laughs> Diz. Hey man, excited to watch this major. It's gonna be exciting seeing y'all perform up there on the stage too. I'm saying on that desk. And uh yeah, I'm excited for the show. That's right. Chat, we are a week and a day away from the first matchup of the fall or major one. I'm sorry. It'll be very interesting. Competition is rising. Conversation is going to be increasing leading up to this event. So, of course, you want to keep it locked in with everybody here who've been following all the action day in and day out. On behalf of all of the staff who worked so hard to make this show the best it is, we appreciate you guys. Epic and Psionics, thank you so much for allowing us to do this show on their platform. And, of course, everybody here who in the chat on the show, we appreciate you guys so, so much. Chat, you know what to do. We'll see you soon. One, two, two to Lou. We're out. <laughs>